I thought it'd be fun to do uh, Kingdom, Hearts 2 t uh, Kingdom Hearts tier list. And what would be a better tier list to do than every single boss in Kingdom Hearts history? <laughs> we actually have every single boss here. This might take this. We might not. This might take a while. We got KH one. So we got Calm and then uh, Sora and then Riku story. We have KH two and then we have uh, the data fights, the ASs. We have days. We have uh, okay. So here's the one thing. We have recoded down here. I have not played recoded in like a long time. So I don't remember like these fights at all. This isn't gonna be that serious, but it's gonna be pretty serious. Like what I decide here is pretty much what you have to agree on, or else you're not a good cage player. Because I have played a lot of cage games. I put ten years into the game. So if I uh, have a different opinion than you, then that means that your opinion is invalid, and you should probably cry yourself to bed every night. And we also have uh, cage three here, data fights, and then I'm not sure what these are down here. Okay. First off, we have Dragon Maleficent. Dragon, wait, we should put some music on. Dragon Maleficent. Um, I intimately know this fight because I did a playthrough with uh, level one, no magic, and I learned like all of her patterns. I would say for Kingdom Hearts one boss, Dragon Mao. I mean, it's pretty hype. She's a cool fight. Um, it's pretty cheesable. Stop. You got beast in your party. I'm just basing it mostly off of the gameplay. This will be mostly based on gameplay. I'm not gonna base it really on like much other stuff. I think like the hypeness of the boss, and then like the like there's some context around it. But mostly, I'm just gonna go off of uh, like like the actual combat itself. So I'm gonna say I don't know. I think Dragon Ball is fine. I'm gonna say A tier actually. I think it's A tier. Chat disagrees with me. <laughs> I think Dragon Ball is A tier because, uh, like, it's. I think it's really cool. It's a cool fight they do after Maleficent. It's like a really uh, difficult fight, and um, it's not like it's like reasonably doable. I would say. Bro's already bugging. <laughs> well, it's hard to. I would say it's hard to compare, like, a KH one boss to other bosses. Because, like, if I were to compare them exactly one-to-one, -one, then I feel like every KH1 boss is going to be, like, below KH2 bosses. <laughs> because they're just not as complicated. I, I'll try to, like, I think, it, I think it matters a bit in the game that it's in. Also, make sure that if you dis disagree with me in the comments, you, uh, you let me know in... Uh, like, make sure you type multiple comments so that the video gets boosted in the algorithm, if you disagree. Alright, Maleficent. Maleficent, the fight... Um, I actually think Maleficent isn't as good as Dragon Mao, because Maleficent, she's on the platform. The goal is to, like, destroy the platform, which you can do with gravity pretty easily. But her attacks are, like, kind of boring, and she doesn't, like, move at all. I feel like she's not a great fight. Like, she's not really that fun. So I'm gonna say Ma- uh, I would say Ma is probably, like... Yeah, she just yells at you. I think I'm gonna say, like, uh... I'll probably move these around later on. But for now, I'm gonna say, like, D tier. Uh, Ursula? Is this regular Ursula? Yes, okay. So regular Ursula... That's another one of those fights where... It's pretty annoying because you can't damage her until you remove, like, the weird pot in the middle. And that... Makes it kind of annoying. Like, I never look forward to fighting her. And then also, you can't even do much damage. Like, the water combat is really bad because you don't have any modifiers to your abilities and, like, um, just not, yeah, I think it's bad all around. I would say, like, I think I actually think it's FTA. Yeah, I don't even know how the fight works entirely. I did it with the hitbox, yeah. Um,. Okay, this is regular Jafar. Jafar is fun in the speed run, but I think casually he's not that fun because um, he flies around so much. You can like kind of, you can actually predict where he's gonna go. He actually goes opposite of where you are in the arena, um, which is what we take advantage of in the run sometimes. But Genie doesn't really do much. He's also just kind of there. 
I'd say Jafar is pretty boring though. I'm gonna say Jafar is like I would say Jafar is similar to Maleficent, like D tier. Um Layden. Playden is an iconic fight, very hard. I think you never have cure there, because you get cure from Clayton. Um, it's not really fair because the the his pet attacks you during the fight, and he can also shoot you, and he can cure. So like, you can get attacked by his pet while he's curing, after he's at low HP, and then he shoots you, and he can jump away and like really far. It's really like unfair. The chameleon. The yeah. He's iconic because everyone loses their like everyone death cycles here. It is like the first like roadblock I think in their playthrough. So infamous. I would say. I think we might. So we might need. Maybe I should have kept the D plus. I think I'm gonna. I, I think like I'm saying it's better. I think it's better than Levis and Jafar, but I don't think it's. That much better. I think I think it's C tier though. Cause like at least it's more fun to fight him. I feel like it's actually like interesting trying to navigate all of that. Whereas these fights are just kind of like meh. Uh wait, is this the card this is the card tower? <laughs> okay, this thing is silly. If you didn't know, your stats don't actually matter at all. It's actually just based on like hit count kind of. Like, your, the last hit of your combo, the finisher, does, like, three points of damage, and each hit does one point. And so, in the run, we try to get as many finishers on it as we can. Um, but, like, your actual strength stat doesn't matter at all. It's a weird fight. Uh, the cards are pretty annoying. Honestly, this is probably going to be D tier. Because, like, stationary boss. Oh, yeah, the lock-on is also bad. That's actually a good point. You can't lock onto it very easily. You have to, like, be attack it first. Yeah, the cards are annoying. She doesn't do much herself. I'm gonna say D tier. Is it better? Is it more, Like, is it? I don't think it's wearing F tier, does it? Hmm. I'll say D tier. Bye. Bye. And then, okay. Now, Anti Sora is actually one of the worst runs. Or, sorry, one of the first fights in the entire speedrun. Like, especially for, like, getting world record, you you reset to this fight, like, every run. Uh, but casually, it's pretty difficult. And he goes underground. He, like, I think the annoying thing about this boss is that he'll always go, he'll go underground to dodge you, like shadows do. And he can also, like, teleport around and hit you. So... I feel like that is it's not like a fun mechanic. Like having the boss just kind of become immune. It's kind of like Vanitas, actually. Which we'll get to that when we do. I'm gonna say Antisaur is like. Not F tier. I'd probably put it here. The ordering matters a little bit, but not really. Like I think the left is supposed to be better than the right, right? Um I'll put Anti-Star, like, right here. I'm trying to get Grim fast, so that we don't spend, like, hours. <laughs> we might not play Dark Souls. Jafar. Genie Jafar. Alright. <laughs> I'm trying to remember now. Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, I was trying to remember which fight this is. Genie Jafar, you can only damage him by using Blizzard or hitting Iago. Iago's always flying above. Um, the platforms move around... It's not really a hard fight at all. It's really just time consuming. Like even on level one, it's not that hard because Yago doesn't hurt you. And Jafar, you can literally just like, you can see his attacks coming from a mile away and you can just run dodge it. So I'd say it's like one of the easiest fights in the game. Um, probably it's not like fun though. So I'd say, I think it goes D tier. I feel like a lot of the cage one bosses are D tier. This might be bad. Okay, KH1 Sephiroth. This, I think, is... This might be S tier. I feel like Sephiroth in KH1 is really good. I think the only... Well, okay, maybe A tier. Because I think the, the problem is that Sephiroth 
uh, he has some unfair attacks. Like the the lava player can stun lock you, and he can just he can teleport into you and then lava pillar. Um, but Mao shouldn't be on the same tier as Sephiroth. So I might bump Mao down to B. I think I'm putting Mao on B tier. We'll have Sephiroth be A, A tier. I think this is one of the best Sephiroths. Wait, there's only two Sephiroths. Never mind. <laughs> I'd probably, I think I prefer K2 Sephiroth personally. Uh, but this one is arguably harder. And it's mostly harder because of the BS stuff he does. Like I said, like the lava pillars. If you put me in F tier, I unsub. We have a long way to go, man. Yeah, so this might be a hot take, but I do think I think H1 Sephiroth is not S tier. Uh Ursula. Big Ursula. Gigantis Ursula. She's a similar fight to Chernabog. You're underwater. Underwater combat is bad, as I mentioned. Um, her attacks are kind of BS. Like, it's one of those fights where I think you're intended to get hit like a fuck ton. Like, it's one of those fights where you're supposed to just, like, mash attack and get hit a lot. So, in general, those fights are not, like, great. Mermaid Kick. Yeah, Mermaid Kick, you, you can dodge around a bit, but it's it's really dumb. This is probably going to be DT. I don't think this is F. I would put this in D tier again. I might end up moving this Ursula. <clears throat> I'm not sure what F is gonna end up being. Yeah, if you do a full combo, you do get hit because your finisher is so laggy underwater. Um, guard armor. It would be interesting though. <laughs> she actually is at the shop. Oh. Okay. Guard Armor is a fun fight. I actually think this is a really good fight. Because it's like one of the first fights in Kingdom Hearts 1. One of the first fights in Kingdom Hearts, period. Um, he's kind of like, the music is good. He's like the first time you had party members. I feel like this is a fun, really fun, cool fight. I think I'm going to put an A tier. Yeah, he's really cool. There's not really much to say about him. He's not like... He's pretty fair overall. The the punching and stuff can be annoying. Like in level one, he's really hard because you don't have many tools, and he he has some like really annoying attacks. But we're not just basing it on level one. Yeah. Now opposite armor, I would say is pretty similar. It's a cool revisit to a boss. I like when they do that. When they like make the boss more powerful, you have to refight it. Um, probably put. I think I might put A tier as well. Yeah. Boston Kate should be horrendous in one. Probably, um. Uh. I mean, Sephiroth. <laughs> it's like an easy one. Or like Lingering Will. Okay, Trick Master. Trick Master. Now, this guy. I feel like he's pretty. This might be controversial, because I feel like. Trick Master is annoying once he removes the platforms. And then he starts shooting fire at you. Uh, recently, it was discovered that you can use Blizzard to remove the fire, so that you don't have to worry about that. Um, I think he's going to be, like... I don't think he's that bad, personally, but, like, thinking back on it now, the more I think about it, the more bad I think he is. I think the only reason he's not, like, horrible is because... Um... Because you can, so if you didn't know, you can actually jump and hit him without having platforms, but it's really hard. Like, we do it in the speedrun, but that's not something you would ever do casually. Or maybe you would, but, like, it's kind of hard. Um, I, you can use stop on the quadrant? I didn't know that, actually. Interesting. I might put this F tier as well, yeah. Alright, Pot Centipede. This is another fight where the speedrun doesn't like him, but I think he's mostly fine. The only annoying thing is that barrels can come from behind you and hit you. Um... Yeah, he has a lot of hitboxes, so like you can again, it's never one of those fights where like you're kind of expected to get hit a lot. I feel like the whole concept of fighting a boss throughout all of Agrabah is pretty cool, though. I don't think he's that bad. 
I think I put him like C tier. Big Ursula is worse than Trickmaster. You might be right, actually. I don't know. Yeah, Big Ursula might be F tier. I might. Okay, I think we're. I think we're doing that. Yeah. It really depends. <clears throat> like Trickmaster, you can hurt less though. That's the thing is that Trickmaster, like you can get into a point in the fight where you can't even like combo him. I think I'm. I think I think I'm leaving it. <clears throat> okay, Phantom. Phantom is really. He's probably one of the worst super bosses of all time. Yeah, I think this is like the worst super boss. I can't even. I'm trying to think. Like, there's other unfair super bosses, but he might legit be like the worst, the most unfun. Like, I never want to fight him, because if you if you die to him, especially like at the end of cage, uh, sorry, at the end of the fight, um, you have to redo the entire fight, and that is like five minutes. Like, you can literally lose like five to six minutes of your life dying to him. And yeah, he's not fun. So I think he's after here for sure. And yeah, fun fact, he is actually the only super boss in the original Kingdom Hearts. So the Kingdom Hearts was first released in Japan. And in that version of the game, there was no Kurt Ziza and there was also no Sephiroth. Or Ice Titan, I think. Uh, which were added to the NA version. So he's the only boss in that game. Um, This is the face. Wait, is this? Hang on. I think this is the entire... Hang on. Okay, I think this is the entirety of Vorda Chaos, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. Oh, so let me make this bigger. Yeah, Ice Titan was, but I think uh, Diamond Dust wasn't. There we go. That's crazy, bro. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the entirety of World of Chaos, which is a lot. This includes Ansem 3, um, the Shadow Core, um, the Artillery, which is on top of the face, uh, and then the Dark Bar Core, and then the face itself, and then the, um, the Invisible Core, and then the Orb, and then Final Boss. Is this including the final boss? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> I think KH1 final fights are the best. Dude, you guys don't like this? I think final fights in KH1 are the are like one of the best final fights in any KH game ever. I think this is like S here. I think final fights in KH1 was done the best out of like any game. Because you go through and fight all of the heartless again. You get your party members throughout the fight. You fight Ansem like over and over again, but he has different forms. And then the face itself looks like a Final Fantasy boss. And then like the the huge thing behind Ansem is like really cool. Like this entire fight is like super sick. And the music is really good too. Like I feel like everything about this fight is awesome. I would argue it is maybe the best final fight sequence in a lot of KH. Like KH2 is pretty good. 3 is okay. I think this one did it best. Honestly. Um, Kurt Ziza. Kurt Ziza? He's another kind of annoying fight. I think he's pretty cool. Like, his attacks are pretty cool. He's probably one of the hardest fights in Kingdom Hearts, honestly. Um, but I'd probably... I think the fact that you have to remove the orbs to start damaging him kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's a very unique fight in that you can't use magic. I think it's a cool, unique concept. It's actually similar to like Phantom where you can't do physical hits, but you can not do magic instead. Then I think about it. I think Kurtziza I would put... Um, I don't think it's that bad. I think I put him like B tier. <laughs> choopy, 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 choppa, choppa. <clears throat> 
One second. Okay. Parasite. Oh yeah, this is Parasite 1 and 2. Is it? Okay, there's two Parasite fights, but this is including both. Um, I would say Parasite isn't bad. The poison mechanic is, like, kind of annoying, but you really shouldn't have to deal with that. Oh, I guess he has one attack where he spits at you, where you can get it. I haven't fought him casually in a while. Yeah, they're both the same, pretty much. Uh... I would say Parasite K... Let's see, this is probably gonna go... I feel like he's not that bad of a fight. I think I'd probably put him, like... Probably, like, C tier. Maybe, I wasn't thinking, like, low B, maybe, but I don't know. <clears throat> we'll leave him there for now. Uh, okay, another super boss. We got Zemnis. The unknown fight in KH1FM. Unknown? I have to admit, actually, I'm not very knowledgeable on this fight. I don't know if I've beaten him without cheese. I may have, like, on beginner or something. Uh, I don't even know if you can beat him on level 1 without cheese. You probably can, but it'd be really dumb. Uh, I know his patterns, like, a little bit. But he's one of those fights where, like, it's nearly impossible to not take a hit. Unless you're cheesing him. Um... Welcome back. Hi. Yeah. Yep. Of course. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> yeah, we got some boss coffee here. Oh yeah, party members are a thing to consider as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, okay, Xemnas, he's very cheesable. I would say, honestly, I don't think he's that great. Of, I think he's worse than Sephiroth, for sure. I don't really think he's that good of a super boss. Like, I think Sephiroth has much better designs. Much more fun to fight. I would say he's probably, like... I don't think he's better than Kurziza. Oh, maybe. Maybe he's around the same. It's hard to compare these, but I'd say, yeah, maybe around B tier. No, I'm gonna say C tier. I don't mind. Be here. Take care or leave it. I'll put him right here. Please. Why doesn't it work, man? Please. There we go. Yeah, the only reason I didn't put him A tier is because uh, I don't like the fact that you have to. Some parts of the fire are annoying. Like the, the sand snakes and then having to remove the orbs on his hands and stuff. But yeah, okay. Um. Cerberus in KH1. You know, the fun thing about Cerberus is that you can parry the fire boss back at him, and it's really fun to do <laughs> because it's like insanely hard. Uh, but otherwise, he's just Cerberus. Uh, the like, the the things that come out of the grounds that hit you are kind of annoying. I would say he's probably like. I might put him like D tier. Uh, D or C is what I'm thinking. No, I think D, because I'd rather fight Parasite Cage than... I'd rather fight these guys in Cerberus, I think. You can also stop a lot of these bosses, by the way, and just, like, loop them. <laughs> Maybe true, John. Uh, Chernabog. Now, Chernabog, this might be controversial, because, like, most of the bosses where they just sit still and you whack at them, I'm not, like, super thrilled about. But this one, I think, is actually really fun. I like Trinabog a lot. Because he he has the Night on Bod Mountain music too, dude. Isn't that freaking awesome? I think just for that, he has to be, like, at least be... I think he has the same amount of epicness as, like, Dragon Mount. Because that's why I put Dragon Mount here. I think I probably put him, like, right here. No, I, I don't know. I think actually be A tier.
Oh yeah, fun fact, in the original Japanese version of, uh, the original release of KH1 in Japan, uh, he didn't have Knight and Bod Mountain. <laughs> I'm thinking A or B, because like... Garnara probably doesn't deserve that spot. No, I think I'm putting A, I'm putting A. I'm gonna put him right here, actually. Okay. Uh, Tiger Head. This fight sucks ass. This is bad. F tier. I think this is just F tier. <laughs> like, there's not much to say about it. This this fight is just annoying. Like, this is probably the worst fight. Like, this and Phantom are, like, the easiest F tiers. These two, I think, don't, maybe don't deserve here. But, like, Tiger Head is really bad. Um, I mean, there's not much to say. You can't, you have to, like, climb his head. There's a lot of points in the fight where you can't climb his head. He spawns more enemies that attack you during it. The enemies can literally jump on his head while you're up there, even when he's like a million like feet high. Like it's insane. Uh, Rock Tyen. This fight is like pretty boring, but you he's just like a training dummy. Like he hits like a truck, but it's very easy to avoid him, and he just sits there. Like this is such a weird fight to me. The fact that you fight him after the entirety of Hades Cup is weird to me. Because, like, he's probably, like, one of the easiest bosses in the game. <laughs> yeah, I would... It's weird, because he's, like, in terms of, like, how... The fight isn't well designed. Like, he's pretty boring. But also, like, him being a training dummy, it's pretty fun. Also, the fact that you get tech points for hitting him, I think, is pretty cool. <clears throat> I think I put him like D tier. Like, um, yeah, probably like right here. Ice Titan. Ice Titan. I actually think Ice Titan is a really fun fight. Because even if you don't have guard, you can parry his stuff back at him. And, um, he's just really fun. I feel like it's really fun trying to learn the patterns and then like parry everything back. I think Ice Titan is really cool. And everything is like fairly dodgeable pretty easily. You can use gravity on him, you can use fire on him. Uh, I think it's a really cool fight. I think I should put him like... I think I'm putting him... Mm. I'll put him right here. Now, the Ogi Manor. Ogi Manor? Um, I would say Ogi Manor... Probably, like, F tier. Yeah, the game is not very fun. I think it, like, it is a cool concept. Hmm. I think I put him F tier. I think to me it's either going to be, like, low D tier or high F tier. I think I'm putting, I'm putting F for now. Manager, like, it's just... Going, climbing up and then falling down, having to climb up again. Uh, he shoots like the dark orbs at you that are pretty hard to dodge. Some of them are like tracking. Uh, I just feel like it's not great. I'd say F. <clears throat> uh, Sabor. I don't think Sabor is that bad at all. The only annoying part is that when you fight him the second time, um, he goes inside the woods. But it's not really that bad. Like this is just like too simple. Like it's the same with guard armor. Like, the fight is too simple to really give it a bad grade, I feel. So, I might put this B. And I think I'm actually gonna... I think I'm gonna move Garnomer back. To B. I think this makes more sense, to me. Because I think... I think the simple fights can't be that high. Um, Hades. Oh yeah, she... <laughs> Okay, Hades, um, the annoying part about Hades in KH1 is that he DMs a lot and he becomes invisible whenever he DMs. Uh, he's a, he's a funny guy, so maybe that bumps up <laughs> the grade. Uh, probably gonna say... I think I'm thinking C tier. I think it goes in here for C tier. Probably put him like right here. I don't think it's that bad, but 
I think the invincibility throws me off, and then also... Well, that's like the only thing. I think if we remove the DM he has... He's not really that bad. But the same with these guys. I think I put him... I think right here is fine. He absorbs fire damage? Oh, that's interesting. Disgusting 4 Repliku fight? No, 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 it's fine. Okay, Hook. Hook is an interesting fight. I think the arena is horrible because of, um... The arena and, like, the boat are kind of bad. The nice thing about the arena is that you can run away from him and cure. Like, you have a lot of space to just kind of chill. Um, the one neat thing is you can use Thunder, and he'll, he'll bring his hook up to absorb the Thunder, and that, like, gives you an opportunity to attack him. So you can kind of, like, stun lock him with Thunder, and also stop, of course. Um, he's kind of a cool fight. You can also hit him into the water. I feel like there's enough, like, gimmicks and stuff that make it interesting. I'll probably put him B tier, I think. I think he's actually one of the better bosses. I think I put him, uh, like, right here. Yeah, fire, right? I thought so. Hercules. So, he... I feel like he's actually... I feel like he has in a good showcase of how to incorporate, like, invincibility without it being that annoying. Because I don't think it's that bad in this fight. I think it's kind of cool. Because, like, he's Hercules. He's insane. He's like a god. So to remove his god powers, he hit him with the barrel, which makes total sense to me. I feel like this is a good, uh, this is probably a good B tier as well, like right here. I think he's fine. Um, Oogie Boogie, this might be F tier. Is he better than the Manor? This is just a bad fight. I think, yeah, no, this is worse. I, I, this is actually like, this is probably like right here. I don't like Oogie. I think everyone hates Oogie, right? Because you can't damage him. You have to hit the dice back at him to get a faster fight. Uh, but most people casually won't knock the dice to him. So usually what end up, ends up happening is you just wait until the platforms. If you hit the wrong platform, then you have to just sit there and do nothing. Um, he heals himself in the fight too for some reason. Hey, Twiggy. Pairing the dice is fun if you know how to do it. Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I feel like this fight gets too much hate in the speedrun community. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> Hot take. I think Lock, Shock, Barrel... Like, it's not as bad. I don't... I'm not putting it F tier. I think this is gonna be, like, um... Like, right here. I put Lock, Shock, Barrel right there. Searing Hot take. I'm just not putting them F. I think they're fine. They're not really that annoying. Like, they're pretty bad when all three of them are rounds, but, um... I think they're really bad on hard difficulties, because they're all hitting you at once, but... You can handle it. I'm putting them here. Yeah. Uh, the shark isn't even a boss. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even consider this a boss, because I think... Oh, you do have to fight it. You have to fight it once throughout the whole game. Uh, shark, again, this is, like, too simple to even judge. I feel like the shark is, like... Mm. Shark is, like... Thinking maybe C... I'll put the shark, like, right here. F, because it's nothing? Yeah, that's the thing. I, I, I'll put it here. Like, it's not offensive, though. This is just, like, it's only, like, bad because it's just nothing to it. Uh, Cloud... <clears throat> I would say Cloud is fine until he DMs, where he flies around and hits you. That attack sucks, and the annoying thing about that attack is that if you guard, it usually whiffs, because he can, like, hit you from behind. Um... He's kind of a cool fight, otherwise. He does, like, Sonic Blade, pretty much. And that attack, you really can't, like, catch him. Let's see. I'm thinking D or C. No, I think it would put him, like...
Hmm. Well, he's not that bad. I guess I'm thinking, okay, maybe C or B actually, the more I think about it. I think I'm putting him like bottom of like right here, yeah. <clears throat> like, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking between these two. I think like top of C is fine, like C plus. Riku, again, is not interesting. He's. He's he's dumb because he does like the weird like like he falls down and then he jumps at you. Like he like uh like dodge rolls. I don't even know what he does. It's like you hit him and he he gets knocked down, and then he jumps back at you and then kills you. Yeah, DI Riku. I think I'm gonna put him like right here with the shark. <clears throat> um Riku Ansem. Riku Ansem. Probably... Wait, which one is this? Oh, this is the first one, I think, right? Wait, is that the first one, or is this the first one? Oh, it's Riku 1. Okay. Okay, Riku 1... The cutscene before him, before him is epic. But... Hmm... I don't think it's that interesting. I think Riku 2 is a lot better of a fight. Because this fight, there's not much to it. He just kind of swings at you. I think I'm putting him like right here. And then Riku 2. This fight is hard to say. He's like, he is iconic because of how hard he is. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's that bad actually. He's a decent fight. Like, everything is pretty reactable. You can... Yeah, there's not really much BS in this fight. I would say he's, like, he's not bad. I would, I'd probably say, yeah, like... I think I'd say here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I might need to add another tier, like, below F, that's just, like, boring fights. So I can put the shark and stuff in there. I'll worry about that after we get through cage one. <clears throat> uh, okay, now I can't tell which is be- wait, hang on. This is the second one, right? And this is the first one. They're- wait, they're the same thing, though, aren't they? I'm, I'm confused on which one is which. I bet no one knows. Hang on. Oh, wait. Is 1 OC? Yeah, that's true. But which one is the HB one? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so this is the first time we fight Behemoth, and he's also, like, a lot stronger than he is the second time. Mainly because he has resistance to gravity, and gravity shreds the second one. So I'd say... I mean, they're both, like, pretty similar to me. I think the, uh... I'd say... I think he's not that bad of a fight. But I'd probably put them with the other bosses here, like... I think they're... To me, they're the same. Probably put them, like, around here. Yeah, I know. There's there's a few other, There's a few bosses missing, I think. But there's also, like, a lot of bosses. <laughs> so it's fine. Okay. Tidus. I'm just gonna put the DI kids here. Alright, here, here's what we'll do. Okay. I'll we'll put these here. In the is this a boss here? Anything else? Sabor. Yeah, I think Sabor should go here. Um. This looks right to me. Bring it back! Shut up, man. Bro, hit the screen. I was hiding the porn, man. Oh, card tower. 
Where's Card Tower? Here it is. Yeah, Card Tower should go here. Let me rank them. So let me rank the non-boss bosses. Real quick. I'd say... Riku... Uh... Waka is... Actually, Waka is probably the best one. Why can't... Okay. And then, uh... The shark is just whatever. Yeah, probably like around here. The shark is my favorite KH boss. Oh yeah, 3v1. Here we go. 3v1. Three v three v one. I mean, it's whatever. Probably like... Probably right there. Sophie is just dumb. She doesn't do anything. Uh, no offense. Leon. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you fight Leon in Traverse Town, even. Leon is, like, barely even a boss, too. But you fight him in, in the Cups. So, yeah, I would, I would count him. Um. He's not, like... He's just too boring, again. He's, like, he's not really bad, but he's just kind of a boring fight. Uh, oh wait, this is, let me think about Cupleon, though. Cupleon can get a bigger sword. I'd probably put him, like, bottom of C. I'm thinking of, like, I think D is, like, I don't want to fight them. And then C is, like... I'll fight them, but they're like these might not these aren't like that fun. Yeah, like tolerable. Uh Yuffie, I actually kind of like Yuffie more. But it might just be biased towards Yuffie. I'll put Yuffie like right here. And then the, <laughs> the two of them. I don't know how you rank this. I would say. Uh Probably right here. Leon and Cloud. Yeah, I don't know. These these are kind of whatever. <clears throat> Dark side round one. Hey Austin. <laughs> it's not a boss, dude. Round one. Of Dark Side, this is the first boss you actually fight in Kingdom Hearts period. In terms of like the fact that it's the first boss of any cage game ever is like crazy, but also like the fight's not that interesting. It's similar to the guard armor in that way. Like if I'm gonna put guard armor here because of the like how cool like because it's guard armor, I should probably put Dark Side here. Um, yeah, I think just to, just for like the, I think just because he's dark side, he gets special treatment. The Riku race boss fight. Yeah, people get golden kappas from hype trains now. Okay, dark side part two. When do you fight this? Oh yeah, before Ansem. It's kind of weird that final fights was like here and then dark side's here. I guess that makes sense. They're, these are all... Oh, wait. Oh, no. This is the final boss. Okay. Final boss I'm putting here, too. Um, and then... Dark Side Part 2. I'd probably put him right here, actually. And then... Ansem 2. This fight is actually really awesome. I think this is actually, like, the best fight in the game. In my opinion, he's like probably one of the most fun fights in the entire game. Ansem 1 is not that good though. Uh, he's a lot more annoying because he just like flies away every time. I'd say Ansem 1 is probably like... I'm gonna beat here. I'll put Ansem 1 like right here. Okay, this is KH, KH1, 
And that concludes the tier list, guys. GG's. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is gonna be a really, really big list. Holy shit, man. It's not gonna be messy, dude. Uh, how many bosses? I think KH1 has some of the most bosses, right? Two has, like, the most, and then... Yeah, but a lot of these are, like, the same boss. We'll do it. We can do it. <clears throat> a small gift. Yeah, it's every game in the series. Two chocolate? What, like, just two pieces? Okay. <clears throat> I think everything in Recom should go to Is This a Boss? I'm just kidding. Okay, so Hades, um... This is for Sora's story, first. Oh, this is gonna get messy as hell. <laughs> I think Hades... Okay, how are we gonna rank this? I don't know how I can compare Recom to Rick H1. <laughs> I can think of the same the same metrics here. I would say probably Like this is like tolerable, this is bad, this is like really bad. And then these are just kind of like <clears throat> like good, fun, better. Most bosses in Recom are not really that great. Because they're so cheesable, too. So... I'm also trying to remember... I'm not as, like, familiar with them. Can you rename them that? I could rename it. Okay, this makes it a lot easier to rank now. I would say... Hades, we're gonna say, um, I would say, like, a lot of bosses are gonna go here, I think. Honorable, uh, Mao, wait, how do you fight Mao with Sora? Oh, right. This is kind of bad. I'd say unfun. We're gonna just, like, go with Rudy's now. Um, Hook. This is like a dumb fight. Okay, you know what would be smarter? I'm debating if I want to like order them. I think I'm just gonna like try to separate them uh, by game in their own list because ordering them between these is gonna be really hard. Uh, but when it comes to, like, the top two tiers, I'll probably try to be more, um... I'll try- I'll probably, like, intertwine them. <clears throat> Dark side. Oh, so not fun. Actually, this one's probably... This is almost terrible. I think I'm putting on terrible, actually. I don't like Dark side Because comboing his hands is really annoying, and his attacks are also really dumb. Like, he's just not fun with- he's not a fun fight. Yeah, I think he's, he's pretty bad. Uh, Ursula. Ursula. I would say it's probably unfun. Oogie. I don't mind Oogie that much. This is Recom. I think it's all Recom, right? Yeah. This is specifically for Recom, because Com is a lot different. So we're, we're not doing Com, I think. We're just doing Recom. Uh, Oogie, okay, I'd probably say is better than... Meh, no, I'll put, him, I'll put him right here. It's kind of weird to not put him, like, it might be weird. It might seem weird, alright. It might seem weird to not put him, like, worse than Darkseid, but I don't think Oogie, like, I actually... I think I dislike Darkseid more than Oogie in this game. Uh, Cloud. Cloud's whatever. Like, he's tolerable. Alright, put him like right here. Uh, Jafar. There. He's just not that fun. Um. 
Guard armor. It's weird seeing his OG color here. Yeah, he's tolerable. Probably put him like right here. Trickmaster. Not that fun. Parasite Cage. Um, he's not that bad. The, only, the annoying part is that the the poison again. Like the poison is a lot more hard, difficult to deal with in recon. I don't think it's that unreasonable to fight him though. I think it's like probably here. Uh, now here comes <laughs> here comes all four Rikus. You fight him four times in this game. Honestly, they're not much different though. I think he just like he gets better. He gets stronger as it goes, but like. Thank you so much for nine months, Velo. I appreciate it. Thank you, Velo. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing good. I'm gonna put them all in the same tier. Because I think the only difference is that he gets stronger. What'd I do? Um, and he gets more attacks. I haven't put anything in the good category. Which might be telling of Recon. Even though I actually like Recon. Um, the thing is that he... He is really hard. He gets really hard, but like... I think it's... I don't know if it's like an offensive difficulty. I think he might just be a hard fight. I don't think it's actually like bad hard. I think it's just hard, which is like fair enough. The same, that's how I feel about Ansem when we get to him. Uh, wait, is Ansem on here? Yeah, he is. I'll put, I think I'll put Riku intolerable. Probably like. I'll put him actually right here, I'd say. I don't think it's that bad of a fight. Probably just order these ones here, just because they're more complicated. <clears throat> uh, Marluxia, I would say, is the first good or very good fight, even. I think Marluxia is really cool. I, especially the music is really good. Um, Marluxia... I'd say Marluxia is good. And then this one... Okay, this is the other fight. I'd say this one is here. I think my, I'm a big fan of Marisha. And then I would say the final boss in the Sora story is actually uh, basically A tier. It's a really cool fight. This might even be like up here. I think it's one of the best final bosses too. It's really unique, the gimmick they give with him, because um, Marisha will spam snakes, and there's like different gimmicks involved with all of those. I think I'll put him here. No. I'm actually gonna put him, I'm gonna put him up here. Yeah, I think he's actually, like, he's, a, he's definitely like a showcase of like the best of Recom. Like, this is the best fight to showcase how cool the system can be in Recom. I think Recom is underrated. I like Recom. I'm, I'm a Recom fan. So. This is S tier. So it gets better as it goes on. I'll just, I think I'll just call this S. Dark side three? No, that's not, this is, uh, this is the final boss of Cage one. It's his final boss on it, that's why. Cause there's only wait, is there there's only wait hang on. You fight you only have to fight Dark Side Oh you do fight him twice, right. Oh wait, okay, hang on a sec. Yeah, you're right. Maybe this wait, is this like which dark side is this then? I got confused on Dark Side, hang on, we have to revisit Cage 1 for a second. <laughs> Is this the third dark side or is this the final boss? Oh, this must be dark side three then. 
Why does it say final boss on it then? Okay, we're putting Dark Side 3 uh, right here. Why can't it move? You might want to do a cage form playthrough. Dude, why does it say final boss? Who made this tier list, man? I'm just kidding, by the way. Not bad. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Axel. Axel's not really that fun. I'm gonna. Well, he's not. He's not like good. I'd say. I think he put him like before Riku. Oh, Lark scene. Lark scene is another. I think this fight might get into like bad hard territory because she can stun lock you pretty hardcore to where you literally can't break out. Like I think even like we spam slates, it doesn't work because like it doesn't let you do inputs. I think I'm gonna say Dark Scene is unfun. Is it? I don't know how to. Maybe I'm bad then. I don't know how to dodge her. This might be a skill issue, but I feel like Dark Scene is kind of BS. Axel is just like brain dead because I've, the only way of beating him is by spamming Bazaga. But Dark Scene is just like you get caught and then die. I'm playing Dark Scene here. Uh, Vexen. Again, I'm not really sure the difference between these. One of them is just harder. Uh, I think Vexen is fine. I'll probably put him above Axel. Okay. I think that's all the Sora story. Moving on to Riku's story here. Dragon Mao is unfun because you have to use the platform uh i think yeah well you don't have to use the platform i mean um well maybe she, I, I think i'll put it right here you don't have like range you don't have access to as many range attacks as sora because you can't like use fire and stuff oh thank you for the 30 months uh Seraph. thank you Seraph. i appreciate the 30. Yeah, and then Riku, the only difference is that Riku's tool set is like far different. I think because you don't have, again, like not having range attacks is like a big thing with Riku. Like you you can get range attacks um, when you become Dark Riku and use like Fire Raga and stuff. And there's some slates. But otherwise, like the deck that you are given is different. And I think that changes things. So I would actually put um, Parasite Cage here as well. Probably like a uh... probably like right here. Vexen. I have to say I'm not super knowledgeable about their move sets in Recon as much because I've always cheesed them. Uh, if you didn't know, you can cheese bosses in Riku Story by becoming Dark Riku and then doing two hits and not doing the third hit, and you just spam that over and over again. And on most bosses, it'll stunlock them forever. And then on Sora's story, I've in the speedrun, what we do is spam Faraga on everything, and that kills everything too. So a lot of people think that Lethal Frame is like the most OP slate, but all you need is Faraga. You don't even need Lethal Frame. Faraga is enough to destroy everything. Um, which is why I'm not as familiar with their move sets. But I'll say, uh, Vexen. I think Vexen is tolerable. So I'd probably put it, um, probably put him like right here. Jafar, again, you don't have range attacks. I think I put him like down here. Hook. You can stunlock Hook really easily, I think. Oh no, you can't. You, it's actually harder to stunlock him. Uh, Hook is fine-ish. I put them around the same as Sora, actually. Uh, guard armor. Guard armor's fine. I'll put them like similar places. And then Ursula. Um, this is a lot worse, I feel like, with Riku. Or actually, this, this might be like terrible. And that, while I'm at it, I think I'll put Dark Side here too.
Yeah, you can. Uh, there's some fights. Like, Oogie Boogie, too, is usually bad in every game. Hades. Um. I don't remember this fight. <laughs> I think. I think it's not that different. Uh, Oogie Boogie. You actually get Dark Aura during Oogie Boogie. Like, in Halloween Town, you have nine. You have three nines to use Dark Aura. I think you have more than three nines, even. <clears throat> so I'll just put him right here. Lexeus. I think Lexeus is actually pretty cool because of the gimmick he has. Like, he has a pretty interesting gimmick where he powers up with, like, a blue card. I think even though it's not, like... I think that alone should put it in, in good tier. So I'll put him, like, right there. Oh, the summon of Zexion, actually. I think Zexion, it's a really hard fight, but it's also pretty cool. So I think I'll put him right here as well. I might even put him, like, above Mardusha. Uh, and then, okay... I think this fight is really good. I might put him in S here. I think R Riku An or uh, yeah, Ansem is really fun uh, in Riku's story. Should I go up here? This is like one of the hardest bosses in Recom. If not, I think it's probably arguably the hardest boss in Recom. But I think that it's really well designed. It's like very easy. It's very doable to win. Like if you're like it's it's there's not really much luck in the fight. It's really just like learning his patterns. And getting good at the combat system. Again, I think it's like a pretty good showcase of the combat for Riku story. So I think I put it SG right here, yeah. Riku 2 and 1. Uh, which ones? <laughs> There's a lot of Rikus. But yes, they probably are. Uh, wait. When do you fight Riku? As Riku. Oh, wait, I remember now. Okay. That's right, yeah. I actually remember thinking this fight sucks. I think I'll put him, like... I'll probably put him, like, right here. Okay. I think that concludes Recom. Recom, I was not as familiar with, but I'm decently happy with these. A lot of them can go either way. Like, a lot of the Disney bosses are really just whatever. Uh, some of them are annoying, other ones are whatever. I think a lot of the org members are decent. Um, maybe Vexen should go into good tier. Maybe. But we'll leave it like this for now. Uh, okay, Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> So, first of all, hooray, we got past Recom. Now the game that I know, I know KH2 the best out of all the games. And this is not a boss. So we're going to put these here. Um, do I prefer Vivi or Hainer? I think Vivi is more interesting. Cypher, yeah, I don't like Hainer very much. Uh, Darkthorn. Darkthorn should go here just because he's Darkthorn. I think he's a good fight. I must want to say very good. Yeah, I'm tempted to put him in very good, actually. Because he's, like, one of the best fights. He's so cool. I think he's better than... Yeah, I think I'm putting him up here. Well, no. I might not because there's so many good fights that might go up there too. I'll put him here. I'm tempted to put him up here though. Uh, Axel 1 is fine. I'll put him in tolerable. Axel 2 is a very good fight. I need like an extra list of just like KH2 fights. Because <laughs> KH2... I think a lot of KH2 fights are very good. I think Axel 2 should go up here. 
Um, because you do it with you do it as dual wielding Roxas. Like this is such an iconic fight. It's so cool. I feel like like yeah, it's the only fight in the entire game where you get to play as dual wielding Roxas. It does do damage, man. You don't have to finish her to win the fight. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yes. <clears throat> I'm putting Axel here just because it's such a cool fight where you play as deal winning Roxas and you never get to do that again. Uh, Sephiroth is one of my favorite fights in video gaming history. He is going up here. This is my favorite fight so far. This is like maybe one of my favorite fights in Cage, period. So easily, easy S here for me. This is probably like the best one. I, I, yeah, I think it's better than Cage wants to drop too. Just because of how much cool... Like, he's one of the best fights to me because... Um, I prefer him over Lingering Will. Because in Lingering Will, you can loop very easily. You can also loop Sephiroth. But uh, it's a lot easier to not loop him. And Sephiroth, you have to just react to his patterns. Like, the entire fight is mainly just reactions. Um, whereas Lingering Will feels more like set... Um, Cerberus, I would probably say is tolerable. He's okay. Hades. I think this is a good fight. I like the gimmick of using the Aura Sphere when he becomes invincible and he becomes, like, red. I think it's a good gimmick. And Hercules helps out. I think I'm just putting up here. A lot of the gimmicks in Keichu I enjoy. I, I'm going to be very clearly biased against Keichu. Everything up here is going to be Keichu, probably. <laughs> I can't even think of, like, many terrible fights. But <clears throat> we'll see. I'll acknowledge my biases here. Uh, like Junior Jafar, for example. This one... I don't think he's that bad, but he kind of is. I think if I'm going to put anything in Unfun, it's going to be Jun Junior Jafar. So I'll put that here. I don't think he's quite terrible. Oh, honestly, hang on. No, I think he is. He has, like, some attacks that are pretty BS. I, I think he might be terrible, actually. Thinking about it, because he can like stun you. He has like the buildings come after you. He has the fire and thunder. The DM is dumb. I think I'm gonna put him on terrible. Yeah, I think I'll put him there. Yeah, that's fair enough. Lock strike, bro. This is not even a fight. But I'll just put it like right here. <laughs> Uh, why is Setzer here? Setzer is just boring. He doesn't do much. Like, even in second phase. He has two phases. And in, in the second phase, he does more attacks, but he's just kind of weird. I don't know. Um, Ursula. Wait. Is that the song? Am I ranking the fucking song now? Are we ranking the song against the fucking bosses, dude? <laughs> okay, we're just putting that there. <laughs> The song, this is like Omega F tier. Like. Okay. Oogie Boogie <laughs> is, um. I really, really don't like this fight. I would say this fight's terrible. It's so boring. Like, you just have to knock presents up at him and then dodge his attacks. Like, it's probably worse than his Cage 1 fight. I think he's definitely terrible. Boat Pete. I mean. <sighs> He's Bo Pete. He's like a silly. He's not a boss. I'll put him down here. But he's like funny. He's like a good joke. He's a good joke fight. Um, Pete. Here we go. This is the Olympus Coliseum, Pete. My old friend. I'm going to put this one. This one is unfun. He's not terrible, but he's unfun, I would say. Like, you can remove... He's annoying because of the pinball. He become, he goes into a ball and he heals himself. And you can use Hercules RC to remove it. 
but it's not i don't think it's terrible because like you can remove the pinball or you can remove the ball whatever but like it's not that fun and then round two this is the tr fight this one is like okay it's a really hard fight um i think it's pretty cool the gimmick they gave him with um oh hang on with the the windows because you go through all the windows that you went through before i think regardless of that he's still like pretty annoying but i think he's not i think i'll put him like around here i'll put him up here sark this fight is barely a boss i'm not sure if i should count him as a boss He's not really a boss. He kind of is. I think if he was a boss, he would go up here. Yeah, but Hainer is not a boss, is the thing. I would say I'm gonna put him. I put him down here. I put him like right here. <laughs> He's there's just like nothing to the fight. You just use your RC and then you teleport around. Okay, I'm gonna rank MCP while we're at it. This is a terrible fight. I really don't like MCP. He, that's probably one of my least favorite bosses in Cage 2. Um, yeah, having to stun Sark to get damage on MCP. And then the fact that the barriers like regenerate. You have to keep Tron alive. If Tron dies, then you can't do the RC to damage him. And on level 1, it's like horrible. Um, the other categories, it's not that bad, like, on beginner mode. But, like, I don't know. <laughs> I think he's bad enough to go here. I think he's, I think he's worse than Ugi, too. Like, I personally would rather fight Ugi than him. So I'm going to put him there. Stormrider. Now, this fight could be considered bad by the masses. If you don't really know how to fight him but like his horns can be destroyed and knock him down and then there's tornadoes that bring you back up i think the fact that you can use tornadoes to go back up like if the tornadoes weren't there then i'd probably put them in like bad but because you can always get back on him i would say he's like i'd say he's... i put him like right here i think he's fine uh, Hydra. This fight sucks in the speedrun. But casually, I think it's not that bad. It's annoying because you can't damage him for a lot of it. He also regenerates his heads. I'd put Hydra around unfun, honestly. I think I'll put him, like, right here. Because, mainly because he regenerates his heads, um, yeah, well, yeah, maybe. But, like, mainly because, like, you have to wait for his heads to come down, or use Pegasus Run. And then, otherwise, um, the part where you have to use the urn to stun him, the heads can come back, if you're not fast enough. Yo, Spike. This is true. Yeah, you do get Meg and stuff in it. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll actually... Okay, I'll put, I'm, I think I've been convinced. The fact that you can use, like, Meg's... Meg is there and she gives you, like, MP orbs and drive orbs. I'll put, I'll put them there. Uh, <laughs> hey, CJ. Asta Program is also a good... I think it's a good fight, actually. i put them, like, around here. I think Asta Program is pretty fun. Okay, the problem is that he runs away from you. That is super freaking annoying. The fact that he just, like, flies away. But it's, like... I think the mechanics are fine. I'll put him, like, at the bottom of fun. Of good, I mean. <clears throat> Barbosa. If he didn't know... Barbosa... Uh, if Jack dies during this fight, then 
you actually just lose. So... That sucks on critical mode. On other difficulties, it's fine. Um, the fact that he can go invisible and then you have to fight the Illuminator is annoying. Um, he also has a lot of super armor. Like, a lot of super armor. And then he can cheese him. I think he's unfun. I'll put him down here. Yeah, like, you can cheese him really easily, which makes him, like, a boring fight. I don't, if you don't cheese him, then he's, like, a really dumb fight. Uh, Sean Yu is actually a similar way. I don't find Sean Yu that fun because the bird... The bird ruins the fight, I think. If the bird wasn't there, it would actually not be that bad. But the bird makes him, like, really dumb. I think that single reason is why he's gonna be, like, around here. I'll put him, like, right there. Yeah, that's true. I'm not really considering Rando in this, I think. Uh, Beast is... I would say this isn't this isn't really a boss. I'll put this, like, around here. Um, Hyenas as well. <laughs> these are... I mean, these are... These would go in, like, the bad category. I'll put them down here. Scar? I actually... He's not that bad. Scar is, like, decent... Um, if you know how to fight him, he's like, like, you can actually fight him pretty well. Like, there's a lot to learn here. The only issue is that playing as Lion Sora, you don't have that many options. Like, the fact that you don't have tools just kind of sucks. Um. I wish Lion Sora had dry forms and, like, other limits and stuff. But. I don't know. I, I don't mind him that much. I want to put him, like, right here. I don't think he's particularly unfun. I'll put him right there. Ningring will. I think this has to be S. Like, if I don't put him S, it's pretty controversial. I don't think he's as good as Sephiroth, though. And there's, like, there's definitely flaws. I'll put him below Sephiroth. I think I like Sephiroth more, personally. Ningring will, like... I don't think he's... The, the problems with Lingering Will are that um, he's very loopable. Fighting him without looping him is, like, really dumb. Like, he'll just, like, if, he, if you don't loop him, then he'll break out in, like, one of your combos mid-fight and then kill you. I guess you can just, like, purposefully not loop him. Um, but that's, like, dumb, having to limit yourself. I'm gonna put him, like, right here, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then there's also other things. There's, like, BS attacks. Like, if you get sealed by the bow, then you can't break out of it. Like, it's impossible. You have to just, like, mash X and pray that you get lucky. And then if, um... If he does bike phase, then you can't damage him for, like, a year. And then he has the infamous, uh, Magnega and Blizzaga bike. So, yeah, I'm gonna put him up here. I'm at, like, I'm tempted to put him down here, even. I think that might be my that might be my hot take today. The music makes it really good though. It's just that a lot of people would tend to think this is like one of the best fights, but I don't think it is. I'm gonna put them right here, yeah. We're doing it. <laughs> I didn't fucking ask you, Jeff. I'm just kidding, dude. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's like I personally don't like him that much, so I think I'm gonna put him down here. Um, the rush shoulder is fine. I think I'll put him right here somewhere. He's like borderline unfun. No, I think he is unfun. Yeah, I'll put him down here. He's just not that good. <clears throat> Having to do like the the boss is the enemies. If you remove the enemies, then he's not really a boss. Like, he's still... Like, the orbs he shoots, too, are kind of BS. Because you can't really... You can guard them, but you can't, like, target them. So you just kind of get hit by it. Um, Darkthorn. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's fine. 
The orbs are kind of BS. I think the orbs knock it down. I'll probably put them around Hydra, actually. Uh, oh, this is the fight before. Okay, this one is done. This is the fight before Dark Thorn, where you chase around the orb. This this fight is annoying. I'd probably put it far down here, like borderline terrible. No, I think it is terrible. There's like not a single good aspect about this fight. <laughs> it's like pretty bad. I think I'll put it better than Jafar. Um, Volcanic and Blizzard Lord. I actually think this is one of the best, uh, like, 1v2s in the game. In, like, any cage game, even. Because they're not really a 1v2. You fight, you mostly fight one of them at a time. Um, so I think it's fine. I, I actually put it good. Put it, like, right here. Oh my god, it doesn't have both Grim Reapers. I'm sad, man. Yeah, why is this here? <laughs> this is the fucking... This is the Water Jafar. This is the chase. You don't even fight this guy. He's not even a fight. You literally... You know what? You do one... Like, you do like three hits on him. And that's it. This is gonna be like bottom tier. Um, okay, Grim Reaper has two fights. And one of them, he's vulnerable the whole time. The other one, he's not. We're mostly going to be judging him based off of GR2. I think this fight is pretty controversial because some people think he's really good because of the magic mechanic and other thing people think that he's bad because you just straight up cannot hurt him when he's a ghost. I think... I actually, I think I want to say he's unfun. I think I don't like the mechanic that much. Especially because, like, if you don't use Master Form on his final phase, it actually takes forever to get... Like, it takes so long to get the medallions. I think they expect you to use, like, three RCs to get them all. So I'm going to put them, like, down here. I'll probably put them, like... I'll put them, like, right there. Yeah, and the speedrun is cool, but like, that's the thing, is that if you don't do it the speedrun way, it's like, dumb. Alright, experiments. Experiments, uh, a lot of people died to this fight. Um, the only reason that he's annoying is because he has a lot of HP gates. And the HP gates you can't get through unless you do a finisher, which a lot of people probably don't realize. So they get to the gate and then not, and then wonder why he's not progressing. Or, like, not taking damage. Um... Okay, so the attack that he has in first phase, uh, before you break him apart, where he sucks you in, and then you shoots the laser, and also slams on the ground, he basically does all three attacks at once. That attack is, like, literally impossible to dodge. It's, like, crazy hard. I think you just die if that happens. So, I think I'm putting him down here for that. Ground Shaker. This is gonna go terrible. Is it better than Jafar? I think it's worse than Jafar. I'll put him, like, right here. Uh, okay, we got Xemnas. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll put Xemnas. Um, Xemnas, I've always thought he was a weird fight because you fight Roxas, Zigbar, um, Luxord, Saiyax before him, and they're all harder than him. Like, regular Xemnas is not that hard. He gets hard when he does the long combo, where he, like, spins around and stuff. Otherwise, he's, like, pretty easy. So... Uh, uh, but he's not, like, bad. I just put him down here, I think. Um. 
Okay, I have to put him above Axel. I'll put him up here. I'll put him up here. Uh, we'll do Data's after, I think. So let's do Riku. This isn't... If this is a boss, he's terrible. I'll put him... I think he... I think he's a boss. I'll put him down here. Well, I don't know. Him and Sark are pretty similar. But I feel like I need to... I, even though he's not a boss, I think I still have to put him in terrible. Just because I don't like him. He's the he's like one of the only K2 bosses that are super that are um, unstaggerable. They have super armor. He's like one of the worst fights in K2. <sighs> Anyone else uh, getting tired? Holy shit, man! <clears throat> Ramos done. Ramos done. We've done a lot. <clears throat> Alright. Luxord. Now, speedrunners hate Luxord because the cards react differently in the remasters. We're not going to get into that right now. As a fight, I don't think he's that bad because he has the minigame gimmick, but it's not like required to fight. Like, it doesn't make the the entire fight isn't like a mini game. It's like it's a regular fight with a mini game attached to it, which I think makes it not bad. So I actually think he's a good fight. Um, I think a lot of the org members I enjoy fighting a lot. So I'm gonna put him here. Um, yeah, Demix is another one. I think Demix is a really good fight too. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll put him like. There's a few things about Demix that are annoying. Like he can he can like frame one shoot water at you, and that attack is dumb. And the minigame is like kinda meh. I put him below Luxord. <laughs> He's S tier. Zodin! Casually a big wall for a lot of people. You get a lot of Mickeys here. Um I don't think he's that bad. He's a good He's a good reason why you should learn how to use Reflect. Reflect is really good on him, especially on second phase. So... I think I put Zodan above Luxord, actually. If you have an aerial dodge, it makes it really fun, too. To aerial dodge parry the lances. I'll put him up there. Uh, Zigbar, I actually really enjoy Zigbar. The only thing that's annoying is um, when he gets into DM phase. But like even DM phase, you can actually dodge it pretty well. You just need to use Reflect. I'm going to put him up here, I think. I like Zigbar a lot. I think it's a really cool fight. Another thing that is neat about Zigbar is that if you reflect a bullet, um, there's a weird mechanic in the game where you, you pretty much get Combo Master from reflecting. Like if you deflect something with Reflect, it'll give you Combo Master, combo master for that attack. So you can deflect the bullets and then like go straight into an aerial dive, even without combo master on. Uh, but I don't know. There's a lot of cool things about Zigbar. I think I don't mind him. The data fight is gonna be a different story. I think. Uh, Cyx, I think he's also very good. Probably putting him above. Uh... Yeah, I think I'll put him above Zigbar. His DM, his DM in Berserk is like kind of BS. I'll put him right here. I think he, I'm not sure. I'm torn between this one and Zigbar. Uh, Lexaeus. This is the AS fight. Lexaeus, AS. A lot of the ASs and Datas aren't that different. Um... I think Lexaeus goes into a very good category. I think he's actually better. I'll put him right here. He's actually really fun because you can you learn how to use Reflex in the fight. And I'll put the data fight there too. They're pretty much the same. Uh where's Roxas? Here we go. Roxas is my Roxas is probably S tier. He's one of my favorite fights in Cage 2. And the data fight. Because um 
I just think fighting the other Keyblade Wielders is really cool whenever you get to do it. And he's mostly fine. The only thing, like, the only reason why he probably shouldn't be an S tier is because he has an attack that I call the Pizza Cutter, where he, like, throws two blades. And that attack is, uh is BS because you, you can't guard it and you can't reflect you can reflect it, but like it lasts too long for you to reflect it safely. So he has one BS attack. He has one shooter move that makes it bad. But I think that he's like such a fun fight. I I think he's S tier. Um wait who's DM dude? Who's DM John? Yeah the buzz saws. Sykes? Well, you can cheese it very easily. <laughs> Wait, what is this badge you have? Streamer awards. Okay, let me rank Final Zemnis real quick. Final Zemnis also should be S tier. I'm gonna put Final Zemnis and Data Final Zemnis, specifically the Data version, in S tier. I think these are both very good fights. Like, he's actually really, really fun. The reason that I think Zemnis is fun to me is because, uh, you can reflect during the grab sequence, which if you've seen any speedruns, you would know you could do that. And it's like really, really cool. It's really fun. And also like just, I don't know. Pretty much everything he does is reactable. Um, the vines are kind of fun to reversal. I think it's a good fight. The fact that you can guard the lasers also saves the fight. Because if you couldn't guard them, then it would be dumb. But thankfully they're guardable. <clears throat> Uh, okay, let's do the FF characters. Honestly, the FF characters aren't that fun, I think. They're just kind of weird fights. Like, they, they, they're, they're mostly, they're, they super armor a lot. Um, I'm gonna put them in the unfun category. I'll put them, like, right here. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of them in this game. I feel like they're just kind of grown in there. I don't like Tifa as much. Uh, <laughs> there's so many different variations. This fight is stupid, by the way. When you fight all four of them in Hades Cup, this is a bad fight. This isn't terrible. <laughs> Cloud and Tifa, I don't like them. Tifa's fights are bad. I'm not insulting Tifa, dude. The fight is bad. Uh, Cloud and Leon are probably like one of the more fair ones, actually. Uh, Hercules. Hercules is kind of okay. I think it's tolerable. I'm losing my voice, man. Okay. Zexion. This is a bad fight. I have to admit. Book World is not fun to get through. It's like everything is unsafe in Book World. He has many dumb attacks. You only damage him outside of Book World. If you... Like, you, it's very likely that you get out of Book World, do like one hit, and then go back to Book World. That makes him a really bad fight. I would say he's borderline terrible, but I'll put him like down here. Um, okay, regular Xemnas data. I forgot to rank this earlier. Where did I put Xemnas? He's right here. Uh, I'd put him the same place, I think. He's not really different that much. Like, he's he's way faster. I don't think that really makes him good. So it's whatever. What, like, data Xem1? It's true, but like I, I think that's only if you look at it through like the, yeah. I'm not looking at all the fights through that perspective though, because you could say the same thing for like other fights too. Uh, Data Axel. He's interesting because you're at one HP for the whole fight. Makes him very hard. Um. I think it's a really 
good challenging fight though. I would say it's not really like BS. It's pretty like like it's all skill based and everything is dodgeable. It's all reactable. I think it's actually a good fight. I would put him up here. I think I put him like right here. Uh, did a Luxord? Okay, so this fight I actually think is worse than Luxord. Because the entire fight is just minigames. Like, you can't damage him nearly as much. I guess if you're above the stat floor, like level 99. But the minigame does way more damage, so it's usually better to, to do the minigame. The minigame is fun, but I feel like because the fight is more gimmicky, I don't enjoy it as much. I'll put him like down here. I put it down there. <laughs> Just like one. I guess it's between. That mix is better than the Luxord. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a reaction speed test, pretty much. Uh, Data Demix. This fight is again like very gimmicky. I think I'll put it below. I think it's worse than regular Demix. I think he's actually not that good at all. I think I might put him that up here. No, even worse than... I think I put him, like, right here. He's not as good as Data Zemnus. I don't think the water gimmick is that good. Like, it's just spamming fire in Wisdom form. Or... There's a couple methods you can use, like Duck Flare, Wisdom Fire. You can do it with Blizzards, but it's, like, pretty hard to get the reaction commands. I think he's... I'm gonna- I'm actually- the more I think about it, the, I think he's actually unfun. I'll put him right here. I think I, I- this might be a hot take, but... Yeah. He's not as bad as Zexion, but I think I'll put him up here. Uh, let's do AS Vexen. Vexen is bad because... You have to dodge his icicles while fighting Antisora. And Antisora is the only reason why it's that hard. But Vexen, sorry, is like pretty bad. You have to break the shield too. I think he's better than Vexion. I might even put Zexion. I might move Zexion to Terrible. I think I'm putting Zexion, uh, yeah, Zexion there, and I'm putting Vexion here. Because, <laughs> like, you have to fight Antisora, which is already, like, he has super armor sometimes. And then you have to break his shield, and then you get some damage, and then he summons Antisora again. They have to do it all over again. I think I prefer... I think this is, makes sense to me. No, I don't like Book World. Uh, Larkseen... Larkseen... A lot of people think she's like with the hardest data. I don't think she's that I don't think she's that bad. I actually think she's pretty fun because you can damage her and the clone at the same time. So if you're really like smart with how you do combos, you can actually do like a lot of damage. I would put her probably up here even. I think most of it is like pretty skill based and the only part that's like kinda dumb is in the data fight when she's solo at the beginning, you can get stuck where she's just spamming thunder and you can't do anything about it. That part is done. But otherwise, um... Otherwise, I think the fight is okay. Zexion is 10 times the boss that Vexen is? Dude. Are you off your rocker? Okay, Marluxia. Marluxia... Um... I was like, yeah, Radu should recon for a second. I got confused. Marnusha is a good fight. Uh, I probably would put Marnusha. Probably a very good fight. The only thing is that he doesn't have, like, I feel like his move diversity isn't that huge. I think I'm actually going to put him, like, right here. This might be a slight hot take because I see a lot of people love Marnusha. But I don't think he's, like, that great. I think he's just okay. Oh, thank you. Level 1. Yeah, level... 
I don't know. I don't know. Because you get one shot by other bosses anyway on level 1. So it's not like that big of a deal on level 1. When other things do it too. But anyway, I don't- I just- I think he's kind of overhyped. Like, I think that might be factoring into this. Just like, I don't think he's as good as people say he is sometimes. Like, he's fine. But I, I think the main thing for me is that he just doesn't have that many attacks. And also the fact that you can go into the middle of the room and dupe him with fire. Like, that's kind of cool, but like also, you just ruined the fight that way. So, I don't know. Uh, Data Zodin. I don't... I think this fight is that fair sometimes. This fight is kind of crazy. Where'd I put Zodin? Yeah. I think I'm gonna put Data Zodin... I don't think he's that good, actually. Wins guard me. I think I'm gonna put him like above Demix down here. Now, Data Zigbar is more BS than regular Zigbar because you pretty much can't react to his teleporting. Like the moment you see him teleport and then shoot. If you guard in that second, like you'll you you won't guard because you won't guard in time because of how long it takes for guard to come out. So you pretty much have to spam reflex, and I think that puts him down. I think the fight is still pretty cool. I think I'll put him, like, around here. Like, the same as Zodin. <laughs> yeah, you can't... It's very dumb. In a lot of ways. I just... I don't know. I, I guess I have a soft spot for Zigbar. The more I think about it, though... It, it's, it's pretty BS. Yeah, I think I think I have to lower him. I think I have to put him down here somewhere. Like maybe um I'll put him like right here for now. <clears throat> Data Sykes. This fight also I don't like. I think Data Sykes is unfun. I'll put him around here. Because uh, a lot of the fight is just trying to ignore getting DMs. And when you get DMs, he just spams DM and then getting out of Berserk. It's hard, just a lot of it. It's like similar to some of their fights where you have to remove like their armor and then fight them. And then they get the armor back and stuff, yeah. I'll put him right there. What the fuck is this? Wait, what is this, man? Why are there two? Yeah, but there's two of them. Yeah, but there's two of them. This is Armor Zemnus. This is Armor Zemnus 2. Okay. So, this is Armor Zemnus 1. Regular Armor Zemnus. I'm gonna put, um... I actually think they're a good fight. I don't think they're very good. I think they're fine. Like, I genuinely look forward to fighting him sometimes. I'll put him like around here. And then Dragon Zemnus. It's just bad. I think it's just bad. Like, I'll put him right there. And then Armor Zemnus 2. This is the second to last boss. Uh, this one is fine. I'll put him like below this because you have to. You don't get to like. There's not as much variety in this fight as there is in the first fight. Because um, in the first fight, he can do, like, Zigbar shots and, like, cards and stuff. Whereas in the second fight, I don't think he does any of that. So I'm just putting him here. And I think that concludes all of Kingdom Hearts 2. We did it, guys. <laughs> We've done three games. The rest won't be as hard, surely.
Cage 2 had like as many bosses as every other game. Holy shit, look at the list, man. <laughs> Wait, I just realized that the no hope slash backseating is still up. <laughs> Don't backseat my tier list, man. What the hell? Don't help either. <clears throat> Apparently, I have a chocolate frog. Look at the frog. <laughs> what card? It says Armin. <clears throat> there are a lot more... Bad fights than I thought in case you. <laughs> Actually, is it from Harry Potter? Is that what it's from? I don't know. Like, I, well, I know that <clears throat> in Harry Potter there's a chocolate frog. I mean, like, the ones I'm eating. Haru, are they from. No, I don't think it's Harry Potter themes. Just the chocolate frog. How many games do you data rematches actually have different tiers? Wait, how many games do data rematches actually have different tiers? I'm confused what the question is. I'm so confused about the question. <laughs> I've rated KH1, 2, and 3. Oh, sorry, I've rated KH1, Recommon 2 now. Oh, I have... Data Axel... Data Luxor, very slightly. Um, Data Zodden. Data Zigbar few of them. I think I just explained it. Yeah, I, I just I just said that. That's why the ones I was just listing off, those are the ones I I, I just listed them off. <clears throat> Didn't buy feastables? It's messed up, huh? Okay. I don't know if I can rate days, man. Uh, I don't like a lot of days bosses. I don't like that much. I think days gameplay is fine for the most part. But a lot of these are not good, man. He is not a boss. Isn't don't you just follow him? Wait, do you fight P in that game? Am I crazy? I don't know if he fight P in this game. Hang on. Wait, P level one proud. What 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 what? What happens? Look. What? And you want me to rank this man? We're putting this. These are dumb. These are all dumb actually. I don't like. I don't like the bosses in this game. We're putting this. In terrible. This fight is actually kind of fun. I'm gonna make him. He's fun. <laughs> Wait, 
We're putting Sykes is actually really good. I'm gonna put him up here. Sykes is a really good fight. I don't know why they come out of the movie. Sykes fight is sick as hell. I think it's cool. Uh, Lock Shock Barrow. Do you fight them? Hang on. Oh my god. Wow, what a great fight. I love this fight. Okay, this is bad. Uh, God armor is probably fine. We're gonna zoom Drudy's. Dark side is fine. He's fine. Uh, below Riku. Work. Please. Please. Okay. Wait, what is that? I think it's like bigger dark side. Uh, this thing is bad. This thing is really bad. What is this? Oh, the one at Agrabah. Actually, this one's not that bad. I actually don't mind this one as much. This is fine. In fact, I don't actually argue it's like good. I don't know why the one in Agrabah, I don't think it's that bad. He's kind of fun. Um, I don't like the bosses in this game that much, though. That's why I put uh, Beast Castle 1 here. This one also, I remember being kind of BS. Uh, Ruler of the Sky. One of the worst bosses in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> He's actually insane. This boss is also bad. I don't like this guy. Because he just, like, he's not fair, man. I think it's better than him. Um. What is that? Oh, is that, Sh that's Shion. This is Shion. Okay. Wait, is that the optional boss? I don't, I've never fought this guy. Um. What's his name? Yeah, Dust of Flyer. Hang on. Dust Flyer. Yeah, I've never fought this guy in my life. How do you fight him? Holy shit, man. Okay. I mean, this doesn't seem that interesting. Wait, is this really the whole fight? Wait, does he not change at all? He's not doing anything different. He's actually just doing the same thing. Wait, he doesn't change, man. It's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, this fight is not boring. I mean, this is this fight is boring. It's not it doesn't seem that fun. We're putting it like uh I mean, I haven't tried it myself, but I'll put him down here. This guy After learning the speed run I learned how to deal with him better, but I don't like him. I think at best, it's unfun. But if I'm gonna put- I'm just gonna put him up here. And then, what is this? Are these all the mini-bosses? Oh, these are all the mini-bosses. That's not a boss, so okay. Yeah, I've run days before. Um, no, but Shion, Shion is a good fight. I don't think they- it, they should- okay. Are we gonna rank all the patterns? I think they're all fine. I'll put them on- on... I think they're all very good. I don't think I'll put them on this tier. I think they're off- they're all pretty good fights. Uh, the final version is the best one, so I'll put that right there. I don't think they should go on S tier. I think this seems fine, though. 
I don't I don't actually remember the differences between the tiers for Xion, but I'm just gonna say Xion is up there. Debating putting Xion S tier, but I think I think Xion isn't. Maybe. It feels weird putting every final boss up here. <laughs> I'm definitely debating on putting it S tier. Cause just cause like the atmosphere, the music, the music like really makes it. If that adds points, then it would go S tier. But Yeah, I put I put Shion up there. Okay. PBS. Oh, this is separated by story, right. We're actually almost done. Wait, why are there so many K2 bosses down here, man? Oh, I see. These are like the dumb bosses. Don't worry about them. Wait, why is Recom down? Okay. We have, we have to deal with this later on. Um... No, I'm on your shit. Yeah, I do, don't I? Oh, no, I don't. You're right. Hmm. Wait. No, I do, I do. It's right here. Yeah. I was like, I thought I did. And, uh, Ansem. Okay. These are all gonna be the same. These are the Okay. The difference between the fights in BBS are, like, non-existent. They're all the same. There's no difference. Like, even your moveset. Like, okay. The only difference is that, like, you have... You'll have, like, Cartwheel versus, like, Dash. That's the only difference. Is that, like, Terra can't dodge as well. But I feel like that doesn't really matter. No, it's not. It's the same. Well, maybe for some fights. I'm not sure. But no, I, I really don't think... It's the same thing, really, for all of them. Um, is this Terra? This is Terra. This is Van Aqua. Okay. Um, this fight is unfun. Uh, he just like shoots at you and teleports around. He has like some pretty cool attacks, but like, meh. And then this fight is also unfun. I don't think it's terrible. I think it's just kind of unfun. And then Peter Pan is fine. Um, Zack. Zack round one is not that hard. I think it's okay. Round two is like insanely hard. Because he has like the DM attack that like completely destroys you, even on beginner mode. Um... Yeah, Zack the robot. I don't think it, I don't think that qualifies as like really bad though. I think he's fine. Uh, Ericus, I okay. Hot take: Ericus is good. Ericus, I'm actually gonna put very good. I think that's a good fight. It's actually fine. A lot of it is very reactable. You um you like okay. So everything in BBS, you pretty much need like renewal guard, and you need like leap racer and cure. Like, if you don't have any of that stuff, then you're, it's just dumb. But, like, you pretty much have to have that for, like, a lot of fights. I, I think Ericus is one of those fights. Like, if you're, if you're doing crit especially. On beginner, I think you're probably fine. But, like, I think it's fine. He's I think it's a cool fight. Music is good. Um, The musical guy, I think is actually fine. It's probably tolerable. I'm up here. This thing... Is also fine. He's fine. Um, the attacks are pretty easy to guard and dodge. It's not that bad. Oh, this fight is good. I actually think I'll put Zigbar or Brig um, on very good. I think Brig is a really cool fight. He's actually a fun fight. Um, oh god, <laughs> mysterious figure. Okay, so this fight is also controversial. Some people think he's the hardest super boss in all of Kingdom Hearts. Um, 
Now, here's the hot take. I actually don't think he's unfun. I've learned how to beat MF. And I don't think he's unfun. I also don't think that he's that luck based. Like, I think on original BBS, he's pretty bad. But in Final Mix and the remixes, he's not, like, he's not really that bad. So this is another hot take, boss. I don't know if I can put him in good. Because there's a lot of really not good things about him. Like, the fact that he can doom you... Many, many times. And if you if you get doomed like four times in a row, then you're dead, no matter what. Um, I'm gonna put him. I think it right here. I think is I thought I put him right there, and I'll put the rest right there too. I'm not gonna like rank them based off of the character. I'm not like don't. Pay attention to the order here. The order is whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, Trinity armor is... It's fine. It has a lingering hitbox in the fight, which is kind of dumb. I'll put him right here. He's tolerable. This is a lot of bosses are right there. This fight is also tolerable. He has like a dumb charge attack where if you guard it as Terra, um, you can miss. Like he has like a guard fail basically, which is dumb. I'll put him right there. Or like right here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> okay. These guys suck. I don't know why you find them four times. It's so dumb. Which version? Okay. It's like this one, this one. That one, that one? No, that one. Okay. In the arena, you fight this guy. I forgot his name. But you fight him four different times. Like, he has, sorry, he has four versions, and you fight each version multiple times, except for the last one. Yeah, Iron and Prisoner is his name, that's right. Um, I don't find him fun at all. I actually, see, I think that this is worse than Mysterious Figure. I'm going to put him right here, the last one. I think he's actually pretty bad. Um, the same with this one, too. I think the weaker he is, he's not as bad. But I really don't, I don't like this fight that much at all. So I'm, I'm gonna order him like that, I think. Okay, and this fight, too. This fight is also dumb. Like, if you don't cheese him... It's just, like, not good. Um, they can make it this fight as he can't cure. I think you have to use the items. But, like, his moveset is, like... I don't know if there's, like, a way to... Yeah, he just he's not a good boss at all. I would put him, like... Probably... I'll put him, like, right here. Uh, this guy is fine. I recommend you beat him with shot locks. But I think he's still unfun. Uh, no, I think I'm right here, actually. He's fine. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the, the final boss. Uh, Terranor is actually not that bad. I put him, like, right here. He's actually a uh, pretty skill-based fight. Pretty good. I think it's fine. The only annoying part is that he cures a lot. He uses Kiraga. <laughs> the the freaking okay. This thing's bad. I'll put him in unfun. Uh, this guy. I think this fight. Not only do I think he's worse than Mysterious Figure, 
I think he's also harder. I don't know why Mysterious Figure gets all of the like bad rep when this guy is like ten times worse in like every way. Like he has more health, I think. And then uh he has like insane his attacks are like absurd. Like you just can't even hurt him half the time. You have to use Rhythm Mixer, or else it's like completely screwed. I think he's way worse than Mysterious Figure. Yeah, it's no heart. I'm putting him down there. He's like, he's not even meant to be fought solo. That's why he's so bad. It's because in the original, you could play co-op in the arena. And you're, he's like a raid boss. So you meant to have like multiple party members for. But because you fight him solo, they nerfed him. But he's still like really dumb. Uh, Monstro. <laughs> Monstro's also bad. He just, he's kind of a meme. Like he's not even a boss. But he's bad. I'll put him down here too. Uh, and then this guy as well. I think is worse than Mysterious Figure, too. Like, he is the same way, where, like, he takes, he, first of all, he takes, like, actual no damage to you, from you. Like, he has, his whole gimmick is he has, like, insane armor. So he takes, like, zero damage. I'm gonna put him down here. He's, like, he's just completely boring. He's really boring. That's, uh, Ericus's armor. You fight him in the arena before you fight No Heart. I don't know if he's better or worse. I think he might be, I think he's worse, actually, because he's, like, he's, like, No Heart, but also just, like, boring. I'll put him there. And now we have to order everything else. Again, don't pay attention to your ordering. Let me uh let me just like order them all. Or let me just uh let me add the ones that I already added for each character because I don't think it matters. I am assuming that you, like, uh, for all these bosses, I am assuming, like, the, the BBS in, in particular, I'm assuming that you fight them without throwing completely. <laughs> like, if you try fighting them with, like, physical combos on, like, level 1 crit or something, then, yeah, good luck. Even on, like, beginner mode. So, like, when it comes to, like, Mysterious Figure, for example, I'm not considering the fact that you could go into the fight with, like, no commands. I'm assuming you're at least, like, trying to fight them. Vanius sucks. He's unfun. I think he's a classic unfun example. Probably put him down here, even. Both of them are unfun. Uh, for Ven, specifically, number one, you have uh, Mickey with you. When do you find him again? I'm trying to remember actually, when do you fight Vinius again? I don't think it matters that much though. I think they're. they're... I'll put Vinius down here. Vinius is annoying because he teleports all of your combos randomly, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's completely random too. Like, there's not even like any anything to it. Vinius just completely randomly teleport behind you and attack you, and it makes it dumb. Um, Hook. Final bosses for round two. I'm trying to, when do you fight him? Oh! Oh, I remember now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would say... Okay, so this is before the final boss. And he's, he's, I'd say he's worse in the other version. Um, and then a hook is mostly okay. I think he's tolerable. I'll probably put him like around here. Um the cat. <laughs> the cat is probably one of the most tolerable fights in the game. I'll put him after hook or before hook. Uh the tree is also fine. Like the early game bosses are not that bad, honestly. This one's fine. I might even put this one like right here. Uh, Maleficent. Honestly, Maleficent is a fine fight. I might even put it in good. I think Maleficent's fine. Uh, this thing is also... This thing's kind of unfun. The main strategy is just to let uh, Stitch shoot it. He can, like... He can do dumb stuff. I'll put him down here. 
Now the final fight for Ven, I think it's actually not that bad. It's pretty good. I would say very good. I think I put him right here. Uh, not as good as Terranor. I think I put him right there. The annoying thing is that you can whiff the final hit, and then have to refight him. <laughs> like, cause you like you can whiff the final hit, which isn't supposed to happen. And then if you die, you have to redo the whole fight. Um, that's only in the HG remasters, I think. But other than that, the fight is uh, kind of fine. Like he has the same issue where he teleports, but I think he's more, it's more predictable how to fight him. He's not as random, I think, as the other Vinius is. Um, as Aqua, Greg is fine. I think having barrier makes a big difference. So I would actually rank this fight a little differently. I know I didn't rank the other ones differently based on character, but this one I will. Um, I'd say it's fine. Um, this thing is also fine. Like, I, a lot of Aqua bosses are not that bad because of the barrier. So put him right there. Uh, this guy... Oh, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> This is like the super boss, like the last super boss of uh, PBS from Final Mix in the final story, the secret story. I would say he's terrible because <laughs> like pretty much the only strategy is to spam ignite and then cartwheel away. You can try hitting him, but it doesn't work that well. He can also just like dodge. Like he can, he has an insta dodge attack where even if you like actually hit him, he would dodge it and it won't do damage. <clears throat> the fight is just like really boring. It takes forever to beat him. Gontu is tolerable. I'm around there. Uh, Hades and Ice Titan is also fine. I'll put it like right there above Trinity. <laughs> Dragon Mao. Um. This fight's kind of buggy. I think it's unfun. Probably around the same as the mirror. Um, both the Venuses are bad. I think I put them the same as here. Um, when do you fight Zack? Oh, right. I remember. In the... Zack is fine. He's fine as Aqua. Yeah, probably around the same. Um, okay, this is the secret boss. This is the final fight. <laughs> the final fight is borderline terrible as Aqua. Because he has a lot of attacks that are like insta that you can't react to. He has at least one where he does the dash. He can like sit still and then dash and then like kill you. I guess this is only like a level one problem. I'd say he's unfun. I'll put him up here. Yeah, I put him. He's probably around the same as like Zayn, right? On level one, though, it's horrible. And then these two fights are. I think this one is mostly fine, but then I think the other one is actually worse. Where did I put him? This is the first boss in the the final story. He's not that bad actually. I think I'd actually put him up here. I think I put him up here. And then this one I think is bad. I put him on, on fun. When he has the Guardian, I think it makes it worse. Because of the attacks and stuff are just dumb. I don't even know like when he's open either. Like his openings are pretty hard. So I'll put him like around I'll put him around here. Okay. Alright, that's BBS. Holy cow, we got three BBS guys. We did it. We did it. You finished the tier list. Not really. 
I think we've done over half though. Right? <clears throat> yeah, probably. We only have 3D, 0.2, and 3 now. We can do it, guys. There's not that much, dude. Look at how much we've done. We're gonna sh we're gonna just like plow through DDD. Are you ready? This fight with Pete. Uh, this fight is okay. I don't think it's that bad. Um, this fight is unfun. Uh, pro tip: you can use like stop or gravity on them. I think like gravity or something. Otherwise, it's whatever. Uh, this fight, I don't think. I don't know much about this fight. Hang on. Let's watch it real quick. Classic balloon spam. It looks so weird. Okay, more balloons. According to the lore, I believe Julius is like Mickey Mouse. Ah, uh, the music is right here. Hang on. Rainfall Rush. I don't believe in lore, so he's not Mickey Mouse. Wait, what is that attack you just did? Oh, shit. Oh, he, he, okay, he, like, powers up. Interesting. Bro, I kind of wanted to see that. Why'd he beat him? Alright. Um. Is that fun? <laughs> That's unfun. I'm putting him down there. I think it's better than this. Uh, this guy is actually like one of the better bosses, I feel. The Rinsler? I don't think it's that bad. I think the gimmick is pretty cool. I'm gonna put him down here. Um. Oh, this, oh my God. I forgot the name of this guy, but he is very bad. I think he's terrible. He is so annoying to fight. It's the boss of um of the the sorcerer place. Uh Symphony. I keep forgetting the name, but I said the Rinsler, man. Rinsler? Rinsler. Rinse Rizzler. He's a Rizzler. Uh this guy. He's okay. He's borderline unfun. Eh, I'll put him down there. Oh, the B. Wait, this one sucks. It's not a boss. That's like a that's like a gummy ship. <laughs> it's like dragon summon this. Um, same with this, right? Yeah. Yeah, those are those are the dives. Um, this guy is actually one of the better bosses. I feel. I'll put him in good. Uh, this guy, he's actually not that bad. He's very hard on, like, harder difficulties. Um. I'll put him, like, right here. I think it's actually fine. What is that? The B, man. Or what? Oh, this is the... Wait. What is this? Oh, I, I see, I see. Okay. This is a triple boss fight. Um, It's in such a bad arena. It's like a very... You're in the third district. 
fighting these three huge bosses. I put them down here. Are we right there? Uh, Ursula, is that even? It's not a boss, dude. Yeah, it's not a boss. I'm putting it down here. Well, I'll, I'll put it above this. Um, is that Riku's story? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, Zemnis. Um, I think Zemnis is fine. I don't know if he's necessarily a good fight. He's. I feel like. He, yeah, he can't go up there. In fact, I think I need to move down the Rizzler. I'll put the Rizzler down here. Uh. Yeah. I'll actually put him. I'll put him here. I'll put him here. The only reason these are here is because they're not like actually problematic. I would do it like that. It's fine. Uh, this is the Riku version, I think. This guy is kind of annoying. I put him on fun. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, which? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Which boss is this? Is it? Wait, I'm so confused now. Do you fight that guy as Riku? No, as Riku you fight the... Oh no, you do, right? Yeah, this is it, okay. Yeah, that's right, I think this is, okay. I think this one is bad, I'll put him down here. Yeah, the, the Riku boss for Traverse Town, I think, is what this is, and that one sucks because um, he can, like, fly away from you and summon stuff and disappear. Um, this is the... Yeah, okay. This boss, I think, is about the same as the Sora one. Put, like, around here. Oh, right. I was confusing this one and that one, but they're both similar. I do like that. Uh, crab, lobster dude, the same as Sora, kind of. Oh, wait, no, he's not. He's monster on this fight. I'll, I'll say he's a bit worse. Because he flies above you and stuff. Um, that one. Oh, that's right. The SP boss as Riku. This one is unfun. I'm noticing a lot of the Riku fights I don't like as much as the Sora ones. Uh, this is the not boss, I think. Oh wait, no, I was confusing it. Oh no, this is this boss, hang on. And then this boss goes up here. Okay, we fixed it. Uh, the mole guy is not good either. In fact, he's probably terrible. Around the same as this guy. Julius is the same. Trinabog is not a boss, honestly. Uh, these are not really a boss on Riku's story. I put them the same here. What do you mean, holy moly, dude? Now I have to remember when you fight these guys. Oh yeah, okay, so... Right, okay. Oh yeah, he has got that, you're right. Okay, this guy, the Nightmare guy, he's... kind of cool. I think I missed this Asura. I think you find Asura. Yeah, I, I don't remember if Asura or Riku. But either way... Um... He looks pretty cool, but I think I'm putting him down here still. Um, Ansem? This Ansem in particular? I 
I would say it's tolerable. Yeah, it's tolerable. I'll put them up here. I actually think this one is pretty good. I like this fight. You find as Riku? Okay. I actually think this one's fine. So I'm going to put him up here. I think he's better than Zemnis. The boss says uh, Riku here. Um, anti Black Coat Nightmare, whatever the hell. This guy. No, this is a different guy. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember the names, dude. This guy is. Uh, um, he becomes invincible a lot of time, but he's still tolerable. I think I'll put him up here. I don't like him as much as Ansem. And then Young Xehanort is actually a good fight. I'd say he's actually a very good fight. I'll put him up here. He's fine. I, I think you can, like, no damage him and do, like... Like, he's actually... I think he's decently made. I'll put him up there. Okay. That is DDD. DDD was kind of all over the place. Forgot a lot of the bosses there. Now, point two is going to be dumb because a lot of these fights are the same. So... Right off the bat... Yeah, we're skipping coded. I'm not ranking recorded because I haven't I haven't played recorded in a very long time. Right off the bat, this is not a boss. <laughs> I mean, okay. These are like absurdly easy. Until you get to like round three. So I I don't know. It's not like bad though. So I'd say it's tolerable. Uh and then round three, I think is like good. And then um Dark side. When you fight Darkseid twice? Do you? Wait, where's the bot? Hey, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's down here. This is Oyak, okay. Oh, you do fight Darkseid twice. I remember now. That's right, okay. I mean, again, Darkseid's like tolerable. It's not really that much of a boss. Okay, Darkseid 1 is like meh. Dark side two is actually fun. I would say he's pretty good. Uh, I'll put him right there. And then I would say these fights are just not fun. I don't like them. Unfun. Part two. Uh, equally unfun. Well, okay. Actually, with Mickey, I think it's up here. And then the final boss, pretty much. Um. I don't even know, actually, it's not... Eh. I'll put him below Aqua. And then Zodiac Aqua is actually good. Like, Aqua 3 is also pretty good, but I don't know if it's, like, that good. Because it, it's... She's so weak. I think I'll put Zodiac there. Some people think Zodiac Aqua is, like, S, is S here. I never learned it that well. So, personally, I'll put it here. I think you could argue it's us here. I just haven't learned to fight that well, so I'm not really sure <clears throat> the intricacies of it. I think that's fine for point two. All right, and now K3. We've made it, guys. We've finally made it. They're not the same, John, by the way. The last one is different. Three hours in for K3, man. We're finally here. Can you believe it? Or can you not believe it, dude? Okay. H3. This is, again, like, barely a boss. Legit, I think it might not even be a boss. I feel like... Borderline, not a boss, but I'll put it, like, right here. Hey, Raisin. Let's go, like, in order if we can. Uh, so Rock Titan. I actually think Rock Titan is a good fight. It's pretty cool. The mechanic that you use with the train and everything, I think it's a pretty good fight. I'll put it up there. I like, I like Rock Titan. Um, these guys, I don't actually like. I think, like, you can argue it's a skill issue, but I just don't like them. I'm gonna make them on fun. Wait, is that including the tornado? Oh, it is. Yeah, okay, well, easy. Like, I would say 
Lava and Ice Titan are like unfun. Tornado. Or like Lava and Ice Titan are like okay, but then Tornado is bad. But I just put them right there. Hey Leon. Um What's after that? Oh this uh one of these. This one. Uh, Demon Tower. Hmm. It's actually, uh, do I, do I like it less or more than... I'd say it's tolerable. He's fine. Um... Okay, and then we would do, like, UFO... UFO, I don't like. I think he's bad. Not terrible. I'll put UFO down here. Just like tracking him is annoying. You can get into a mech and shoot him that way, which isn't that bad. But just like the whole gimmick of it, I'm not a big fan of. Um, <laughs> the Daw? The Daw's fine. If anything, the Daw is actually pretty good. I think I'll put the Daw up here. Uh, it's annoying because some of the other enemies can like ruin the fight and stuff. But it's really not that bad. Um, yeah, man, the intro. Where's the boss? Oh, wait, the, wait. Oh, sorry. Okay. I take back what I said. I thought this was the other UFO. Is that on here? Okay, because I think maybe you fight the same one twice. I don't remember. Uh, but this, yeah, like, this is the actual boss boss. Okay, this guy is fine. Um, I'd say he's tolerable. I didn't see it. Hmm. No, I'd say he's good. Like, he has the cool thing at the end. I'll put him up here. Oh, this. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of. This thing I put in unfun. Uh, okay. What is that? Oh, this is the third- oh, right, okay. <laughs> Why is there two of them? What is it different about this one? Oh, it has Mickey. Oh, the Mickey fight? Dude. <laughs> okay. Um... I think next is... Is there a horse on here? I don't think it is. That's weird. K Tree doesn't have as many, like, things. It's mostly gameplay, does he? Or does he? Yeah, it's not about... It's not, the, it's not about how hard it is, no. It's more about, like, how good I think the fight is, like, gameplay-wise. Uh, tree. Tree. Depending between, it's between good and fun. Good and tolerable. I would say, would I rather fight the tree or the UFO? Well, I'd probably rather fight the tree. Well, it has the horse before this. Like, it has... This is the boss of Corona. And then it has the tree before... It has the horse before it. But I, I guess the horse isn't included. Yeah, I think I'd... I think this is fine right here. Dancing minigame? Um... I think that covers all that stuff. Yeah, okay. Alright, Lump of Horror. Lump of Horror is a bad fight. I don't like it. It's like, not... It, 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 you could argue it's like fine, but I don't like it that much. I'm gonna put him down here, probably. Uh, probably below... Yeah, I think I'll put him right there. I don't like him very much, because like he's weak when he, be when he goes underground and makes everything red. But 
even in that phase, there's like hands everywhere and meh. Um, <laughs> John's cooks. Uh, I'm trying to think now. What is? Oh yeah, ice. Okay, marshmallow is actually a good fight. I would say marshmallow is a good fight. In fact, almost very good. I put rock tie up here. I'll put marshmallow above it. Rock Titan probably doesn't deserve deserve to be up here. It was money, mainly because like I think it's a cool gimmick. I think I put him down here. I'll put him right here. Marshmallow's up there. I think Marshmallow's good. Um. Oh, this okay. The main boss of Erendo, uh, Skull is his name. Now this is controversial. I think people. I think it is a skill check. Like, if you're really good at the game, you can beat him well. But I don't like so many aspects of the fight. Especially, like, having to remove all the dogs during the DM. There's situations where you're just fucked. I'm gonna put him in unfun. I think it's better than these, but I think he's unfun. Yeah, he's 100%. It feels like BS a lot of time, for sure. Um, okay, next would be uh, this weird volcanic dude in San Fran. Uh, I don't, I don't know. He's, I think he's actually unfun. I don't really like many aspects of this fight at all. It's hard to get combos on him. I put him right here, I think. Yeah, he's almost a non-boss, true. He's like a weird mid-boss. <laughs> For what, this geek? You think I should have them like spend three hours on it? I don't know, man. Maybe. I'm not good at roasting. I don't make many. I don't make much food. I told people to comment how much they disagree with me. If you if you disagree, then flame me in the comments, and then I'll reply to you and tell you how wrong you are, and how much better my opinion is because I play I play the games more. You beaches. <clears throat> anyway, um. Uh, what is the boss of San Fran? Oh, here it is. Yeah, this guy. Wait, is that the boss of San Fran? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, the cubes are... Like, it's it's not fun. I think the cubes are not fun. Are they better or worse than Skull? They're better than this guy. I think I put them right here. The cubes are just, like, they're at least, like, decent. Like, they're good to dodge and stuff. Like, you can dodge them and stuff really easily. It's just, like, killing it is hard. Oh, it just takes a long time, I mean. Only a few outliers. The cube faces under the whole thing. The whole thing, right? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean the whole thing? Like, you find him twice, but the first one doesn't count, yeah. Actual mash chest? Wait, really? You can just smash? There's no way. Oh wait, that's right. Um, okay, the boss is this guy. I was I don't know why I can't. I'm like my my brain is fried. Sorry. All right, so Baymax, evil Baymax twin dude. Um, half of it is a uh, half of it is like shooting like a basically like a gummy machine, which that half is bad. IMO. Otherwise, there's not much to it, though. It's also not fun, I think. Like, it's so gimmicky. It's too gimmicky for me. Because, like, it's okay, but it's just, like... Your only options are physical hits and shooting. So, I'd put him probably below this, even. Like... Maybe right here. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, what is this thing? Oh, the fish. Okay, the fish is actually okay. Like, the underwater combat is decent in that game. I'd say the fish is about the same as the doll. Honestly. Yeah. Fuck the fish? I'm not doing that, dude. Um, this guy is not notoriously bad. He's like, he has way more too much health. It takes way too long to damage him. It's also like a timed fight because you have to beat him before he beats the boat. So on like level one, it's really dumb. I think it's a terrible fight. I'm putting him down here. It doesn't matter how hard he is though, man. It's a dumb fight. He's bad. He was worse on patch one too. <laughs> yeah, they patched it. They they patched it because how bad it was. They even patched the damage floor. Like, the damage floor was lower until they patched it, I believe. Like, they actually made you do more damage to him. Um, now we got... Uh, David Jones is fine. I think it's a... I would say it's a good fight. I put him, like, around here. Probably better than Rock Titan. He's a good fight. Only annoying part is the tentacles, but, like... That part's kind of dumb, IMO, but it's it's not that bad. Um, what's next? I think this fight. Darkwa plus the the heartless, the shadows, is a bad fight. I mean, this is not even a boss. Borderline, not a boss. Where did I put the other one? Up here. I think it's the round here, yeah. Well, no. Is it really tolerable? I th I, well, yeah, I guess it is. It's fine. It's, it's basically not a boss, honestly. Uh, oh, Ventus, Vinius. Um... Playing as an Aqua is kind of cool. They also made Vinius better than BBS. I think I'd put it around here. Yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> the Juglin? That's sick, man. Let's fucking go. Uh, Darkwa? Now, this would be a good fight. But for some reason, I've been told that Fire... Like, removes the range value from her. Like, you can basically spam fire and she'll never break out. Like, that's what, I, that's what I was told by some K3 player. I thought it was a runner. I don't know. Um. Apparently, she's just, like, insanely weak to fire. Uh. But, like, she's okay. I think she's good. Like, she's just really broken. I put her right here. The fact that you can get the attraction flow during her, too, is dumb. <laughs> I'll put her above uh, Davy Jones. Well, hey, hang on. Marshmallow shouldn't be here. Marshmallow should be right here. And probably Aqua should be here. And maybe Davy Jones, too. I think I'll do that. Um, when do you fight this again? Oh, yeah. In Kimberly Graveyard. First of all, this is not a boss. We're not- we're just not gonna count this. <laughs> um... Then this thing... It's tolerable, but it's... It's kind of silly. If you use links on it, it gets shredded. Like, Ariel shreds it. I'll put it, like, right here. It's fine. I don't like- I'm not, like, a big fan of it, but it's really not that much worse than this. I think it's the same-ish. You can also do seed green for Glint, yeah. Phase two, yeah. Phase two, I have. Uh, it's like the same as point two, I think, right? All right, we're almost done. We're almost done. Oh my god! Oh my god! We're almost done. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, I'm trying to go in order here. <laughs> like how the Xion version is here. Okay, so Syx with Xion. 
I actually think this is a good fight. In fact, I think it's a very good fight. Or not with Xion. I think with Xion, it's fine. I'll put it, like, right here. But the the regular fight is very good. I'll put it up here. I think it's a very good fight. And then, um... Honestly, all of these are at least good to very good. All the org members, I would say. What's dumb is that, like, if your party members are dead, they can both, like, interrupt you when you're comboing one. But, like, this is only a main issue on crit. I think they're at least up here. Uh, this fight, the triple Nort, is good. I think it's actually very good. I'll put it up here. Uh, yeah, the Malusha Dark Scene one has caused me a lot of sadness on critical mode. I'll put it right here. Uh, this one is, like, mostly fine. I don't find it that hard. Put up a little Psyx. And then... This fight with the, like, Goat Nort guys... This one's actually really cool because of the DM. The DM is, like, the sickest thing ever. I think I actually really like this fight. I think I'll put it up here. I think it's, like, a really, really... Like, it's actually one of the best, in my opinion, like, one of the best DMs in all of Kingdom Hearts. It's, like, crazy cool. It's really easy to choose, though, yeah. Um, now, this fight might be S here. In fact, I think it is. <laughs> I think this actual fight, like, before the final boss, is S here. It's actually a really, really good fight. One of the best, like, 1v1s, I think, in the game. Yeah, the arena for the first one, I think, is questionable. For first phase, anyway. But it's, it's pretty good. Um, final fight. Wait, what is this? Hang on. Why are there two of them? Is that the data? Is that first and second phase or what? Or do you find them again? Yeah, I guess it's just the phases. But they're like the same. Well, they're, they're not the same, actually. Okay. Phase 1 is okay. I'd say phase 1 is actually... It should go up here. And then phase 2 is... If it's anything like the data, it's pretty good. I don't think I... I didn't, I didn't spend much time learning how to do this fight. I only learned how to do data fight. But I assume it's, like, pretty similar. So I'll put it up here. I think it's better than Triple Nort. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's a good, it's a good final boss. Yeah, okay. Uh, and now we get to okay. This is the remind stuff. Oh, Dark Inferno. I actually think Dark Inferno is good. I'm actually putting him right here. Like this is controversial, but Dark Inferno I think is a really good fight. I don't know why people people like really love to talk about how bad he is. People love to talk about how he's bad and free, but he's not either of those things. He's actually a good fight. Like, I don't know why people complain so much about him. He's a cool fight, man. Uh, this fight is the same, but just, like, really easy. So, I'll put him, like, I'll put him, like, right here. Uh, this is the same thing. I'm not even gonna rank it. <laughs> oh, and there's the one with Mickey. It's not a boss. Uh, Terranor is good. Probably very good. I think I'll actually put him up here. He's like similar to Data Fights, which makes him cool. Um, again, this is like the same boss. I think I'll put it the same place. <laughs> Dark Side is. Is there another dark side? No, there isn't. Dark side's fine. Uh, this is the exact same boss, so whatever. If anything, it should be in terrible because they make you refight the bosses for no reason. Here we go. Um. 
Oh, I think this is the one you play as Roxas. No, this one is. I personally love the Roxas uh, version. I think playing as Roxas is really good. I'm putting him up there. I love playing as Roxas in that fight. Which one is this? Is that like phase one or something? I don't know if- I'm not gonna rank these, dude. Okay, the Aqua one... I don't actually like playing as Aqua that much. I just put it the same, it's not any different. Um... Okay. This fight is actually really good. I think this fight's underrated. The- it's like the final boss of Reminds. I'd put him probably up here, actually, yeah. Yeah, we skip recoded, because I haven't played it in a long time. Okay, these I think I'm just going to skip. Okay, I think we're on to data fights. Alright, here's the data hot takes. Alright, you ready? First of all, I don't like data Riku. Fuck you. <laughs> He's fine, but I don't like Dede Riku. I just don't like him. Uh, I mean, he'll be at the top. But that's my first hot take, right? I don't give a shit if it's a skill issue, dude. You're a skill issue. How about that, man? Um, so Dede Riku, right off the bat, I don't like him. Uh, the rest I do like. Dede Sykes, I find him to be one of the hardest, but I also find him to be one of the coolest. So he's going to be S tier. Data Shion is also like one of my favorite fights in Kingdom Hearts 3. So she's going to be S tier. I would, I'm going to say off the bat, a lot of these are S tier. If not, like the rest of them are S tier. Oh, Luxord is not. Luxord actually... I would say Luxord is like... I don't even know if he's good. I think it's below Riku, actually. I don't think it's that good of a fight. Because uh, it's literally just a gimmick fight. I, I I think he's really easy because you just have to master the gimmick and that's it. Like, there's not really much more to it at all. I'm not- I haven't- I have not been ordering these, um, based on, like, game. Like, I have not been comparing the games to each other, but I think if I were to, I would put these above Sephiroth. Yeah. Like, this is the actual ranking. I think I prefer K3 uh, super bosses. I mean, I get Riku too. Like, I understand that if you do too much, if you hit his revenge value, then he does the dumb thing. But I don't think, I, I still don't like it. Like, I don't, that doesn't make it better to me. <clears throat> um, Marluxia is a really good fight. Probably rank him, I don't like him as much as Saiyax. Uh, this guy is, like, he's, I think I'm probably below Marducia. Vanitas, I like more than, more than Terranor. Uh, Ansem, I think is really, really cool. I think I might put him above Marducia here. And then, Zigbar is one of my least, like, he's not... My favorite. Probably like, uh. Probably like around here. Yeah, the, the music is, is incredible. Incredibly good. Uh, Larkseen. I'm not a big fan of Larkseen either. But, like, these are all. These are all still good fights. Like, just like which one I prefer between each other. I think they're all insanely good fights, and I don't mind playing any of them. Other than, like, Riku and Luxord. Um, probably put like scene like I don't like her clone segment when she like I put her back there when she separates 
Data Zemnis is such a banger, man. I think I actually like Data Zemnis more than Syx, maybe. Yeah, the Laser Dome is so cool. Like, he might actually be my favorite. The Laser Dome is like one of the coolest things I've ever done in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Young Xehanort is like the... He's like the introduction. I would say he's the easiest, other than Luxord, if you're like okay at the minigame. He's, he's good though, he's like, probably like around here. Uh, Xehanort is, in my opinion, the hardest data fight. And I don't enjoy doing it that much. I think I put him below... I put him like right here. And then Yozora. Yozora is obviously the worst fight in the game. I mean, it's just not fair that he DMs when you start the fight. Oh, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> I'm agree. Uh, Yazora, I would put. Um... <laughs> I don't. I. I don't like him. I would say right now, I don't like him the most. I do think he's the hardest. I think he's the hardest. He got me. I. I don't think I like him the most. Though I think for me, I'd put him like. Like, in terms of, like, how much I enjoy fighting him, I would put him right here. Um, yeah. That might change, like, when I actually get good at the fight. But right now, I'm not- I have never- I haven't- I don't think I've beaten him at level 1 Opera Codes. He's pretty hard. But I think this is about- I think that's about it. I think we did it. Wait, what is this? Yeah, these don't count. <laughs> This is not a boss. Uh... Oh, wait, why is Prison Keeper down here? Prison Keeper is good. This is Cage 2. I'd say he's good. He's like... Better than the Lords. <laughs> Let's go, Geek. Uh, the this weird Leviathan thing, this is not a boss. Um... Don't worry about the rest of it. Oh, here's the other Parasite Cage. I see. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Okay. I think with that split, we have done it. This is my tier list. I... Uh, if I were to, like, reorder it, I probably would change some stuff. Um... It's not ordered from, like, comparing game to game. It's more so, like, each game individually. So, I'm not saying that this is, like... <laughs> this fight is the best of the terrible fights between every game. I'm just... I ordered it, like, per game. Uh, this up here... I would probably, like... I'm try Like, I do prefer K3, which is why I put it up here. But I think... If I were to, like, change it, I'd probably put Sephiroth somewhere in here. And then, I could probably order these differently. But it's very hard to compare game to game. I feel like it's, they're like apples to oranges. Um, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I'm fine with it like this. Um, but I do think K3 has the best data fights for sure. Uh, yeah. Seems good to me. I didn't think it would take that long, but here we are. So make sure to comment with your tier list, uh, or comment with uh, what you disagree on, and uh, let me know if you want more tier list videos, guys. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video.